is, is the sheep preaching hate when he says, I'm not going to let the wolf eat me anymore. If the wolf comes in here, next time he comes in here, I'll do whatever I have to do to keep him off my back. Is the sheep violent or is the wolf violent? He wasn't teaching any, he was teaching common sense. You know, somebody's knocking him over the head, stop him. Do whatever you have to do to stop him. You know, the ones that were knocking him over the head were afraid of him, of the fact that he might swing back. So they said, no, he's teaching hate. He's violent. Black skin, white mask. Already know that life gets hard. And they say that we're used to the harshness. If it wasn't for the pain, I'd laugh. Truth is, we knew about light before dark. Turned music to art and taught everyone to dance. Uh. There's still no chance. Freedom must be too much to ask. Bleeding from the ache in my heart. Sometimes I wish it was whites in the middle like France. No, I'm not racist, just jarred. Got hate before bush, not plants. They say we should leave it all in the past. But my brother's still dying on the end, so I can't. So if my attitude stinks, don't ask. Because a hashtag won't help you understand my stance. Fuck a melody. This is real rap if you ever see. Head hot, the system won't let me be. Tell me how I thrive in a place that don't cherish me. And they wonder why we all need therapy. Pre the energy. Yeah, just enough a nigga to Penelope. And they don't get it how we bottom of the barrel when it still drips source from the world, no recipe. Weight of the world on my shoulders. All the pressures in life still tightly holding me poor like patient for all of the fallen soldiers. But the pain still goes unspoken. They want us to stay broken. Never gonna fall fuck folding. I see my people People love hope, shit, don't you know we've all been chosen? We are oppressed. We are exploited. We are downtrodden. We are denied not only civil rights, but even human rights. So the only way we're going to get some of this oppression and exploitation away from us or aside from us is come together against the common enemy. Forgive me if you don't understand. Sorry, I'm just misunderstood. Punished if I try to take a stand. Meanwhile, my friend's dying in the hood. And you can say that we're killing ourselves, but the truth is they're killing us still. How you say your black lives matter, but never took a moment to help. Just a trend that you post for yourself. And yeah, it takes a toll on my health. Cause I want wealth like everyone else. But it's ten times harder to me. And they wonder why my brothers put food on a scale. Yeah, when I die, I'll see heaven, that's real. <laughs> Cause we already living in hell. Wish I could share all the pain I felt. Oh well, I guess I won't speak till my scars do heal. I just wanna be black with a mill. Yeah, that's for every time I had no meals. Cause my mother couldn't keep up the bills with a handful of kids, no home, just a cell. And I don't care if conscious don't sell. Knowledge brings height to what else went from sick. Sitting on thrones to itself, been blessed, man, it wasn't by chance we fell. Weight of the world on my shoulders, all the pressures in life still tightly holding me poor libation for all of the fallen soldiers. But the pain still goes unspoken, they want us to stay broken, never gonna fall, fuck folding. I see my people love hope, shit, don't you know we all been chosen? chosen. Who taught you to hate your own kind? Who taught you to hate the race that you belong to? So much so that you don't want to be around each other. No, before you come asking Mr. Muhammad, does he teach hate? You should ask yourself, who taught you to hate being what God gave you? Yes, blessed love family. Blessed love, blessed love, blessed love. We are back. We are back. We are back. For the new season of His Time Is Up, Afro Speaks Community Conversations. Oh my goodness. Flooding in, flooding in, flooding in. Thank you, thank you, thank you guys. It's been an amazing break. Bless up to all the mods, uh, all the team that works tirelessly in the background to bring things together. Um, there's been a lot going on, I guess, over the summer in terms of us trying to build the paedophile hunting group that, you know, we all talked about and we knew that was coming. So we've been working on that in the summer um, and we're officially actually putting out a tender, if you like. Is it a tender? No, it's not a tender. It's a call. It's a call to arms. There's lots and lots of people that DM me in, in the uh, that DM me 
in the comments, from the comments and whatever, and say, look, we want to help. We want to volunteer our time. We want to help. And I've been saying to people, well, I don't really have anything for you to do at the moment. I have nowhere to place you. But we do now. We need admin. We need volunteer admin people that is going to be able to administrate uh, what we need in terms of evidence when it comes to the paedophile hunting group. Because, you know, there's a process that takes place there and evidence has to be compiled. So we need people that's willing to do that. If you're interested, please DM me on at Afua Rose 69 um, and I will definitely get back to you and we'll have a chat about how that can actually happen. All right. So, um, yeah, it's been a long one. I think the last time when we spoke was kind of end of May, wasn't it? Or sometime in June. I don't even remember. It was it was around that time. Um, oh, no, we might have spoken in July, I think, briefly. Um, when Sister Lorraine, or just before Sister Lorraine was buried. And I have an update uh, about that. I'm going to start with that, actually, before we move into the main crust of what we're going to be talking about tonight. I'm going to, um, I'm going to talk about that because I believe that, um, I believe that, you know, all those who donated to Sister's Burial deserve an update to know what, you know, how the story went. I've had so many messages saying, you know, has Sister been buried yet? What is going on? Oh, yes, please, just me, Fifi, unique, unique Fee. Uh, DM me on Instagram, okay, at AfuaRose69, not Afua.Rose69, not Afua Speaks. Afua Speaks is the backup page, but all the rest of it, if it's not AfuaRose, one word, 69, or Afua Speaks, one word, 69, then the rest of them is some troll pages, and you know how it goes. Um, but, yeah, DM me on AfuaRose, one word, 69 at the end one word okay on instagram and then we'll pick that up no problem so yeah sister was buried i think on july the 10th and um hmm, i was quite loath to do this update because i realized that uh sister's son lorraine's son is still grieving for his mum. he must be and you know so is her daughter and so is the family but we kind of have to talk you know about our experience of that situation because it wasn't fair, um, you know, the way that things played out and took place. And, you know, you guys decide, you guys contributed heavily. We raised £5,000 and I'm, I'm sure that there was his people or her people in there as well putting in. But I know that the main bulk of that fundraising effort was the His Time Is Up family to make sure that, that you know, that her children did not struggle in burying her. Um, so when it came on, I'm going to do, you know, this is going to be very short. I'm not going to go into it too hard. Um, oh, I've just seen a message. Someone said I put 8 p.m. as the start. Really? Ah, I thought it was nine. Well, never mind. Anyway, I'm sure people catch up through notifications or whatever. Um, did I? <laughs> did I put 8 p.m. in the descriptions, people? On this live, did it say 8 p.m. as the start? Let me know, okay? Somebody look in the comment from the comments. So anyway, um, we obviously, you know, we I did what I did. I set up the GoFundMe. I linked it to his bank bank account, and I stepped back. Um, I'm going to tell the short version of the story. So after I done the last live, um, you know, this is what I did basically. I'm not going to go too much into it. I think I'm going to go into it on a different live, maybe a members live. I'm not going to go into it here too much let's just do the short version yeah 9 p.m that's what i thought as well toya oh blessed uh, hurricane toya um let me see lots of love hearts and roses for sister toya in the live for the birth of her beautiful bouncing baby boy okay i don't know if you've named him yet sis but he's literally days old close to the ancestors all right wonderful um so, yeah, we were expecting to go to the funeral. Of course, we wanted to represent at the funeral. There was some confusion as, as to when it was. Nobody really seemed to know. Um, eventually, when I caught up with young young Bradley, um, it came out that, you know, it was on this particular day at a particular place. So we said, OK, we're going to take the team. Because if you remember rightly, sister was about to join the team. You know, that was the plan. And we had had lots and lots of talks around that. So I thought it would be fitting obviously for her team to go you know we at no point was going to advertise it or make it this social media jamboree where everybody can come to the funeral that's not our place to do that not at all 
So um, I said I'd be bringing the team, which of course would mean five people plus James, which would make six people. Um, there was an issue taken with that in terms of uh, the number. So I cut the number down to three. Uh, and then there was an issue taken with that around um, it being three of the team. So it was cut down to, I think, two of the team and the security. Then it, I was told uh, no security, even though from my perspective, that's a problem. Um, but I was willing to forfeit that for the sake of sister and for us to be able to represent at a funeral. Um, and then I was told, actually, we want you to come alone. And if you don't come alone, then you're not welcome. And then I was told, and this was all in a very short space of time. It was kind of like, it almost felt to me as if brother was kind of saying one thing and then going away and uh, maybe talking to somebody else and then coming back within a couple of hours and saying something else. Um, and then it was like, well, actually, we don't really want you there at all. Nice. Okay, so, um, you know, that was a real blow to us as a community, as a family, as a team, that we weren't able to see um, sister, you know, being, um, being laid to rest like that. So that's the update, people. As I said, I'm going to do a whole different live on it in terms of the bigger story around it, you know, and some of the kind of knock-on effects of that in terms of how we felt. Okay? <laughs> yes, Sister Shani. Yes, yes, yes. So that's that's it in terms of the updates. The the group is coming on board. Sister's been laid to rest. Um, next week, we're going to be having on uh, Sister Denise, who is the mother of the Milton Keynes babies. We've not heard from her yet. And so that's really, really important. Um, and she's going to be coming on and telling her story. She's, you know, she's able to do that now without fear of anything. Um, one second, people. Yeah, without fear of anything. So can't think of any more updates. If I do, I'll give them at the end. That is what I'll do. So let me just make one quick phone call. You know how it goes, people. Um, for those of you that are new to the platform, I will give a preamble because I've seen a lot of stuff going on in the comments. We're going to be talking about Dylan Duffers. Yes, we are tonight. Um, and there's been a whole blow up on Instagram, which we often see, don't we? His time is up, family. Put up a one if you're if you're a uh, part of the community and a two if you're new. Because I do feel like the new people to this platform need to understand why it is that we exist, um, what the journey has been about, and that we don't go around targeting individuals because they've got films coming out or we want to mash up their career. No, we don't do that, yeah? We're about upliftment. Bless up for all the regulars, yes. Bless up to the family and the members. Um, we don't do that for jokes. So give me one minute, people. I ain't got no music to play, but give me one second. Right. 
right people so just as you know i was uh hoping would not be the case so basically we were due to have a victim on today okay uh i'm not going to say her name at this point i had a conversation with her up to about 20 minutes ago um and she is shook beyond belief but she has given me permission to use the material that uh, she sent to me. So we're going to talk to her first and then we're going to have a couple of more guests who are actually backstage waiting to come on as well that will be verifying quite a bit of what, uh, you know, this sister has, has shared with me, basically. Um, but basically what it is, is that her case has now become a police case as of the last couple of days. Um, she's been advised not to come on. She wants to come on, but she's been advised not to come on. Um, by the by, the police, whoever whatever police force she's dealing with, I nearly said it. Um, yeah, so she's been advised not to come on. Uh, my advice was to come on at least to introduce yourself and then to come off, and we will introduce the rest. And that's um, don't think that's going to happen now because I can't get hold of her. We're used to that. We're used to people getting cold feet at the last minute, especially when you're dealing with nasty characters like the one that we're about to present. You know, terrible, terrible people that that terrorize their communities in, in, in all ways and shapes and forms. And I'm not blaming this sister. You know, we spoke long and hard and there's no pressure on her to do what she whatever she wants to do. She's happy to come on and tell her story after the police proceedings are completed. Um, and I get it. And there's no nothing on her. You understand? We understand why people feel able not able to come on, especially if there's a police case going on. And especially when we're dealing with the level of violence uh, that these people are capable of. So let's carry on anyway. So we're talking about Dylan Duffus, right? Lots of conjecture. I would love some of the people in the comments to actually jump on once I put the link out a little bit later on, because there is a whole heap of people talking on this guy, okay? Some people will be coming on and some people want to remain anonymous. Uh, and with good reason, as I said, yeah? Um, you know, the... <laughs> I don't think it's any kind of uh, secret, so to speak, that this is a violent individual. I mean, he's kind of self-confessed violence, really. Uh, and as far as I know of him, he was in a movie called One Day some time ago. Um, my children were watching it. The 35-year-old daughter and my 28-year-old son were watching it as teenagers or whatever they were at the time. And I just remember kind of passing the TV a few times, doing what I was doing around the house. And I, I just kind of double took on this thing and just remember how negative it was in my mind. I've been told that there's a message in it, but, um, I, you know, I didn't study it enough to see the message. I just saw lots of violence and people running around on a gang thing. So I didn't really like it. And apart from that, I don't know anything about this guy. I don't have any agenda. What he does is not my thing. It's not my genre of entertainment. I'm not knocking anybody that it is, but it's not mine. I'm 54 years old. It's not my thing. I, I wouldn't have had my head up watching this guy's uh, progress or, or career or whatever it is. I wouldn't have had my head up viewing that to be able to have an agenda, I think is the point I'm trying to make, just to answer some of those concerns that are going on. And also, uh, the sister who I'm going to represent tonight and stand in the gap for, yeah, because that's what we do. We don't force, people come to us with stories, not the other way around. I'm not a roving reporter. I'm not an investigative journalist. People come to us with stories. We verify them. We dig as deep as we can to ensure that those stories are legitimate. We don't want any passa passa. We don't want false witness being bared against anybody. The testimony has to be real and it has to be significant. So we don't get ourselves involved in uh, domestic violence, one away cases. If we did, we'd be up to our eyeballs in it all day long, probably including our own experiences as, as black women in these communities. You understand? We've all been through it. Or well, for the most part, most of us have. So we don't really get involved with people's house business. We get involved when there is somebody who is perpetrating abuse in the community, whether that abuse is sexual, whether that abuse is physical, that's what we deal with. We deal with violence against women and girls. That's what people need to understand. His time is up. I don't know if you guys can see that. Um, his time is up started because initially we were getting inundated with inquiries around historic sexual abuse in the communities. The dirty old Windrush uncles that had scarred a whole generation of people. 
yeah? It started off with one guy in Brixton, who we all know now, Vincent Rat. okay? <laughs> um, and that's how it started. So it was his time is up. But since then, it's evolved. We have featured brothers on this channel that have come on and told their stories of the things that women have done against them. And we've featured her too. And if it has ever been found, which it never has, that one of the victims or survivors that approach us to tell their story has lied on somebody, those victims know in no uncertain terms, because I've said it time and time again, that if we find out that you've come through our checks and balances somehow through clever manipulation and you've lied to us and caused us to call out an innocent person, we will wipe the floor with you deeper than we would any perpetrator or paedophile on this platform. Let me make that clear, okay? And that's the reason why we don't take one person's talk. We, we have to wait until we have one person, two people, three people. Sometimes I've got a whole inbox full of one people, one people, one people, one people, and nobody else has ever come to me about it. So it doesn't get told because one is not enough. There has to be more than one person approaching this platform about the same individual for me to start investigating. And I have to be able to prove that these people that have approached me, more than one, more than two, at least three, that these people do not know each other. And we have ways of checking that. That's how this platform works. It was born out of the need for the fact that 0.8% of rape and sexual abuse cases and domestic violence cases are, 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 sorry, end up in a prosecution. 1% actually end up in a conviction. What kind of statistics are they? And then when you start to, to, to whittle, that, whittle that down on a microcosmic level, when you start breaking down those statistics and apply it to black women now, and not just women in general, the statistics shrink even more. Then you have the black wall of silence that is put in the middle where people don't talk. Nobody supports the victim. All we ever get is victim blaming. All we ever get is the perpetrator terrorizing the victims, intimidating the community so that nobody serves them up. It's got to stop. Whether it's in Birmingham, London, Liverpool, Manchester, Leeds, it doesn't matter. In this community, our Windrush, second, third, fourth generation Windrush we're going into now, and we've got this crap happening in our community. Women feel too afraid to speak. Some men feel too afraid to speak. People are terrorised uh, and the community is run under mob rule and gang violence. And then we, we, we try to fight for racism. Really? We, have, we lick out when the police batter us down after we just kill off ourselves and batter our women. That is the state that our men have gotten into in this community. Yeah? When are we going to take control and do something about it? We need to weed them out. That is the rationale behind this, this campaign and this platform. We don't need views. Do I look like a teenager where I'm, I'm concerned with what people think about me? or whether or not I'm getting attention. This is, it's so stupid. And it's coming from children, as far as I'm concerned, because the big people on this thing, and it started with aunties, we know why we're here. So you youngers that are saying whatever you're saying on the page, that don't know how to communicate and have a civil conversation, whether or not we agree or disagree, shut up, sit back and listen. That's what you people need to do. Simple as that, all right? So we were approached by this sister, and it was in regard to, um, let me just tell this sister's story, because I've, like, as I said, I've been approached by lots of different people. And since I put the post out, my God, this guy has no loyalty around him as far as I can see. His community is talking all right. No, they don't want to go on record. Lots of them have contacted me from, um, you know, Instagram and places like that. Uh, and they're too shook because of the level of violence they know that these people are capable of. But we have intel. We have intel and we have some intel that can actually be handed over to the police, which we're quite happy to do. Let me tell you all that are not used to this campaign, that are not used to me and is not used to this platform. We don't do the black wall of silence when it comes on to scumbags and wrong uns in our community. We serve them up good and proper to the police. That's what we do with no apology. Good and proper. That's what happens. All right. One in the comments from all the people that know how it goes around here. We don't do threats. The biggest, baddest man in London 
threatened us along with his his family and his crew and all the rest of it and you know what we did we took a march onto his streets and we shut him down and that's how we do our thing no more of this bullying that goes on in our community no more the women and the aunties have taken control because a long time you people have been there mashing up our little community eroding our culture and making us look like killers and thugs and gangsters and drug dealers before the world. Yes, you're at a disadvantage. Yes, the system has beaten you down. Yes, white supremacy has affected uh, the way that you're able to progress. But you can't have those excuses anymore when that violence is turning inward on the very thing that you should be protecting as men in the community, which is the women. It can't happen anymore. And we've protected you enough. We stood with you side by side when we fought on the front lines for racism. We stood there as black women with our black men. You can't just come and beat and rob and rape us and do whatever you, you think it is to do and have that racism become internalized in the community. And sisters, you need to fix up as well. Stop entertaining these men. Stop aiding and abetting them. Yeah? Because by all accounts, this individual has a string of baby mothers, mothers around him who are like um, some kind of sister wives or something in, in this polygamous thing going on. Um, who defend him like Rottweilers. I mean, what's all that about? We'll get into that a little bit later on anyway. Yeah? I'm going to play some information. Um, first of all, actually, I had a conversation with Dylan this well, a couple of days ago now, um, and I gave him the right to reply, which is what we do. This is what we do. We're not just going to talk to, you know, send out people's stuff um, and not give them the right to reply. Unfortunately for him, I think, um, he didn't. He says he didn't see my messages until after the post went out. But I did my best to contact him. Um, but we could wait no longer, and he contacted me after the post had gone out. So, where's it gone? One second, people. Yeah. So uh, I had a conversation with him, uh, and that was recorded. So I'm going to play that for you guys, um, and then we're going to move forward because let's hear what he has to say. He's obviously denying everything. Um, and you can hear what he's got to say when um, when he says it in the tape to me. It's a full conversation with us. Uh, and then we'll look at the evidence. That's the way we're going to do it tonight. OK, so I'll kick back. Um, this is uh, Dylan Duffus's right to reply and a conversation between me and him. It's in two parts. This is Dylan Duffus here. What are you, why is this, what's this now, my love? Um, well, as it says, not, did you, me, did you receive my message? I'm listening to my, somebody's, unless somebody, unless I've been arrested or there's a victim did, of this. Did, um, did you my get man, my message, I, Dylan? I've got, I've, I haven't read all the because I'm driving, but I'm just okay. saying, so unless there's been a victim of this crime, what are you posting, um, what are you posting about? Um, I don't know if you've heard about, I don't know if you've heard about our to be an activist for the community. How can you try and assassinate my character? With, and there's no, and there's no, and there's no, there's no, there's no, um, there's no victim. What, what we do is give you the right to reply. No, and no, no, and no, then no, what no, happens no, what is, do, my love, can you let me finish? To me, listen to me, are you going to, are you going to let me finish? Because it's mad. I'm not arguing with you. I carry on. Tell me what you're saying. All right. So, so, so you must be, able, sorry, this, this, this is madness. I'm not, I'm just, stop, stop, stop. No, no, we don't speak. What, what, do you see, you know, this is illegal. You say, I can, I can, like, what, am I meant to get my solicitors in? What are we doing here? Okay, this what we're doing, madness, what, what we're doing, what we're love. doing here. No, listen to me. Stop are you asking? I'm, I'm listening, are you I'm asking a question, or are you just talking at me? I'm asking. No, let me ask you a question. Is you a victim of this crime? Has come forward to say that I've done this. All right. So you is can it, I answer the question? I'm asking you a question. Is that as a victim come forward to say that I've done this to them? That's uh, what I need to ask. Yes, you. that's they have. Yes. There's a, a victim is come and they're a victim of me. Yes. And that's what you're saying. Yeah. Victim of more, me. more than one. I, I, I'm more than one victim. More than one victim. More than more than one victim. Has we come we to never would publish. We would never publish anything unless we've had listen at least three people. Listen to me. So people. more than one victim come to you. Listen to me. More than one victim come to you. I have answered the question, Dylan. I have answered the question. I said yes. All right, then cool. All right, then cool. All so right. why have you said that a witness? Why have you said it's a witness that um some a wit why have you put in your thing that's a witness? Um, listen. What we've said, what I've said. Hold on, no, no, no. no. Let, if you let me that, finish, you're forward. just firing questions at me and not allowing me to answer, okay? Yeah, carry on. We contacted Sorry, you I'm because upset. we wanted to give. Of course, I can understand that. We contacted you because we wanted to give you the I'm right to reply. That's only right and fair, okay? We have been contacted by several people 
who have several alleged, people. if you look at the post, it says alleged, and it also several says... Several people have alleged that I've drugged them and beat them up. And, and it also yeah, says... Stop, stop, stop speaking, man, stop speaking, man, stop speaking. Oh, wow. Stop speaking, my love. Listen, oh, are we, are we going to get anywhere? Are, are we phone, actually, are we, phone, are we going to listen to I'm each other? I'm on the phone, man. Say yeah. that again, sorry. I said it's better if we have a constructive conversation. So are you yeah, denying that? If you, if you look at, if you look at the post, Dylan... If you, if you look, speak to them about it. I don't, I, I'm, 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 I'm happy to do that. I've asked, I've asked, I've asked people to again. DM, I've asked people to DM me, and I've also said that it is alleged in the post. Yeah, your voice That's what I've alleged, done. But how can you, what kind of? Are you and using I've also me for said, and I've so also me, said, so you're using me for propaganda. I've, I've uh, I'm not been, using I've you for anything. We have been going for, we have been going for Say three. I said, I'm not using you for anything. We've been going for three love, years you know, now. This is a while. This is what I'm just All right, if you're going to talk that, over me and not listen, then we have to end the conversation. We do. If you're going to speak over me and not listen, if you're going to speak over me and not listen. Absolutely. I said, if 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 you are not going to listen to I'm me, I'm asking, what's your what's your reason of posting this on Instagram? What's we your, what's run your a campaign agenda? called what's His Time Is Up campaign, me? and we examine his story. You, so I'm asking you a question. Are you trying to look fame off me because I'm the wrong player? I, I don't I need fame. I am not an I am not an entertainer. I'm not no clerk in these days. I am not an entertainer. We we are. I'm not trying to assassinate your character. We yes, are, you are. a campaign. And it's not, like you said, it's an allegation. You've got women no come to us. Evidence. Women come to us and you, tell you, their you, stories. You know, the we Instagram represent people. victims Sorry, in the community of problem. abuse, no, and it's historic. That's what we do. That's that's our Say campaign. That are you listening? Because you're what? asking me questions, but you're not actually letting me finish, and, and you're not yeah, listening. So speak, 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 speak. I said that we are the His Time Is Up campaign. We have been running yeah. a campaign in the community, the black community, for three yeah. and a half years. Uh, and yeah. women tell I don't us... I shit about your campaign and, anyway. All right, well, you ask the me. question, I'm Dylan. Asking, I'm just, to be truthful, you don't have to explain all of that to me. That's but you just business. asked me the question. You, you asked so me the question. So you're, trying to, so you're trying to abuse me in your campaign. You, I am not. I am not. We only tell stories that are given to us. We only tell stories. Well, good luck with that. So please stop speaking. So please, good luck with that. Unless you've got proof and evidence. We do have proof and evidence. We do have proof and evidence. We do have have proof wilding. and evidence. This is wild, my love. We it do have proof and wild. evidence because we wouldn't know, post it otherwise. Anyway, we're not getting anywhere with this. I think this is a nonsensical com- I said we do have proof and evidence and that will be shown on Friday on the YouTube Live. That's the way we do it. Check out the campaign okay, so what, and that's, so what, you will realise so, so, that that's what we do. It's not personal to you. It's not personal to you. This is what we do. This is the campaign. So what proof and evidence have you got that I've done this to my love? As, as, as I say, that's, you that's can, just, as I say, on Friday, the, the way that we do it, you're speaking very quickly and you're not allowing me to answer the questions, Dylan. If you really want the information, you're going to have to allow me to answer the questions, okay? We are a legitimate, bona fide campaign, all right? And women and good. women that's come good. to that's us. So they approach us. We don't go looking for these stories. They come to us. That's what happens. So you know I've got a film and and, and also, and you know, I, like, I, you know, I really don't to uh, listen. Character, all I I'm don't. Just, I'm just saying to you. So obviously, some right. hating us. So the other thing that we do together. is we don't rely on hearsay. We don't rely on hearsay. We Say don't rely on hearsay. We do not rely on hearsay. The fact that we're on Instagram is to spread the message. We don't rely on hearsay. We look for evidence before we post anything. That's what happens. Okay. And, in, right? and, in, and, in, and in what, what, what tangible evidence have you got there, my love? That's... Um, as I say... On Friday, that will be presented, and there will be, and there will be, there will be a victim stroke witness coming on to tell their story. That's what's happening on Friday. All right. I wanted to. So, are you denying those allegations? Obviously, that's that's what you're saying. Huh? How much evidence have you got? Because I don't understand this. Say that again, so I can I said, hear me. Uh, uh, can you confirm Hello? that you are denying the allegations? That's what I need to know. This is a right to reply. It's not an argument. I'm, I'm not having no conversation with you about anything. I'm asking you. Oh, what, so what, are you, what are are you, you neither denying or confirming? I'm a are black person. I'm a black man. Are you seven. denying or are you confirming? Listen to me. I'm a black man. Listen to me. I'm a black man. I'm a black woman, children. brother. What I'm are you ten, doing? Are you denying or confirming? Are you three girls picked her about like? What kind of mad shit is Are this? Are you denying like, you or confirming like, the allegations? That's what I need I to know. I don't understand. All right, I'm going to end the conversation because...
I'm going to, I'm going to end the conversation because it's non-consensical. We are not having a conversation. You're speaking 100 miles an hour and we're speaking over each other and you're not allowing me to talk. You're not allowing me to speak. Every time you ask me a question, every time you ask me a question and I answer it, you go into one. So we're not having a conversation, are we? As I said, you are not the only person who comes to the attention of our channel. That is what we do. We are activists with violence against women and girls. That's what happens in our in our campaign we've been going for three and a half years if you check out the youtube channel and you check out the instagram page you will see that that's what we do okay it is not defamation of character because we don't post anything without solid evidence and that evidence is usually advertised on the instagram page and then we have a full live where the evidence is presented on youtube and we always give people we always give alleged perpetrators the right to reply that's oh, what we do. Multiple people have come through. I'm just asking a question. So multiple people have come Absolutely. through. Multiple Absolutely. 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 Well, if it wasn't people. multiple people, I wouldn't be going on the that's say-so of just one person. I would I'm never do that. Wild. I don't know. Like I said, I, I don't know. I can't. If you're telling me that's what people have done, I, I, I'll have to take your word for it. Yeah. It's wild. <laughs> it's wild. I'm, 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 and I'm and can I just say, right can I just say, when you say about, you know, trying to get... I don't even know you. I'm 54 years old. I don't know anything about you. It's not my genre. Yeah, is, it's not my yeah, thing. What, what, All what I do is I represent you? victims of abuse. Well, That's me, what I do. Cool. Let me put it like this. Then. I've got a film coming out in the next couple of weeks. And it's just a bit of a coincidence that all of a sudden... When, was this, when, did, they, when did these people approach you? Um, I've, I was on a summer break and I've had this information for some time, but I've been on a break. So now I'm back. That's why this story is coming through so, now. So I'm saying to you, how long, how long ago was this information given to you? Um, it's a good few months, to be fair. We've been researching and trying to gather as much evidence as we can. So you've been researching me for the last few months to gather evidence? Well, my researchers have, my team have. When you say multiple people, is that one, can two, I, can I just Can I just make it really clear? My team have been researching you. That's what's been okay, happening for the last few months. Well, your team have been researching me for the last yeah. couple of months. Yeah. But how many people, so I'm saying to you, how many people roughly have, um, this, have, met, have done this thing? Dylan... Um, I can I can't say that at the moment because some of those people I would prefer that to be on Friday when we do what we do and that's how we do it. Right now I've contacted you because of a right to reply. Do you deny or confirm the allegations? That's what I need to know. Well, if you're not having that conversation, then we need to end the conversation. Then, my brother. No, no, I'm not. I'm phoning you as somebody. I'm phoning you as an activist. I'm phoning you as. And I'm saying to you, I'm saying to you. Okay, I hear that. And if you're, if you, if you are able to prove that the allegations are not true, then do I don't that. Know what the allegations are. This is what I'm asking you. What are the allegations? The allegations are, as they say on the page, the allegations are is that you have in the past drugged women against their will, and you've also beaten women. That's the allegation. I've also beaten women. Yes. So I've drugged them up and beat them up, basically. Sorry. Um, not necessarily in the same breath. There are separate allegations for both for both allegations, whether it's drugging so or domestic violence beating or, or beating up women. Those are the allegations that we've received. Do you deny or confirm them? That's all I need to know. My love, listen to me. Listen to what I'm saying. So I just actually a question. I don't, I don't even like how you're asking me all of this. Are you the police, my love? I'm, I'm not the police. I'm not the police. Listen, it's not about me being the police or not being the police. I'm just asking. I'm doing a job and I'm... Yeah, like, it's, it's not helpful, all the shouting over each other, is it? These are some allegations, yeah. That's mad that you post it. I mean, that's just wild. You but in the public that's interest, I'm, I'm allowed to post that, that, Dylan. Dylan, Dylan, Dylan in, the pub, in the public interest, in the public interest, I said in the in the public interest, I am allowed to post that. I'm just saying to you, I don't know, I don't know. I listen to, why would you even put yourself in this situation? It's wild. What do you mean myself in this situation? What do you mean? Well, I'm listen to me, my love. I'm not in control of what happens to you. I'm, I'm very happy. I'm, people in it? Uh, no, I am, people, I am it? my people. <laughs> That's who I am. <laughs> yeah, yeah, your people, but I'm just saying to you, you know, this is the wildest thing. Like, I'm not, I don't, I don't know who else you've done this with and what else you've done and that. This is my Well, check, check it out. All right. Just, so, I'm, I'm assuming, this, I'm assuming. I'm just asking you a question. Do you think these people are going to say you? People are going to be people. If I, if I, I thought that I'm these just, allegations I'm were. Just you, I'm just, 
I just think it's in your best interest to take all that shit. All right, down, well, okay, and well, if there's a problem and like, make them go the... tell the police, tell the people, the victims to go to the police. Mm-hmm. If there's a problem, because you're not the police, and definitely. All not right, right. we're we're, we're police, usually like, we're like, usually stop um. Speaking, man. Yeah, stop stop shouting, shit, man. man. Stop shouting. Stop shouting. Yeah. So if that's the case. At the moment, why are you, why are you trying to get out? This is what I'm asking. You. We you we exist. That, like, we problem. exist like, on, to expose oh, abusers me, in the community because actually, as a black community, we've had enough of the silence. So, so That's what it is. So you're me an abuser in the uh, at the yeah, moment, you're I'm an alleged abuser, abuser aren't you? At the moment, I'm an alleged abuser. Okay, listen, I'm going to go because I'm not really into this ratchet behaviour, whoever that is in the background, and I I really need to go. Listen to me, my love. I'm not in control of all it. I have loads of people that love me out there. You know, you put your name in your face to something that is wild. I don't think it's safe for you to do that. Oh, you don't think it's safe? Really? I'm phoning you. Listen to me. I'm phoning you to say, I'm the the strength of, I don't want to, because I don't know, I don't know what's going on here. And you're telling me that you're innocent in this. So this is, and you're telling me there's other people involved and you're just pulling it on your page. That is crazy, my love. I'm not, do you know, like, my people... My Have you heard of the His Time Is Up campaign, Dylan? Listen to me, my love. I'm, listen to me. I'm, I'm not involved in the streets or nothing like that. And that it, it's not a street thing. You know, people have contacted me about you. It's not and a street thing. And I don't want this stuff. I don't want you to... Okay, know so you're now you're talking love, about my address. Know, well, my address isn't know, known to anyone. My business address is known, by the way. Um, I said my business address is, is, a, is a matter of public record. I said my business address is a matter of public record. Okay. Um, so I, I'm taking that as a veiled threat. I'm taking that as a veiled threat, Dylan. And we don't take threats very kindly. Let me tell you that. I said I'm taking that as a veiled threat, what you're saying there. Well, it's a veiled threat. It's I'm taking it as a veiled threat. And I will tell you here and now. Can I just finish? No, can I finish now? I will tell you here and now that we have had threats from bigger than you, Dylan, and we will not be deterred. That's what I'm saying. Are you listening? We have taken threats from bigger than you, and we will not be deterred. I said that we... Well, you, you've said you can't guarantee my safety and that you've got people giving me my address. I am not having this conversation anymore. Um, I will be going live on Friday. If you want to comment, you're welcome to do that. You're welcome to join the live. And I'm going to end this conversation now. Thank you. Hello, this is Dylan Duffers here. What are you... What is this? What's this now, my love? Hello? Hello, yeah. Yeah, sorry. I was on another call when I was... Yeah, I wasn't able yeah, to speak with that girl talk, shouting in the background, Dylan. I'm yeah, really sorry. Yeah, there's nobody, somebody in the background before so that you heard that was, that was shouting. Sorry, I'm by myself now. All so right, can I can I answer some of your concerns, please? Yeah? Carry on, carry on. All right. So I understand that you're going to be upset. I get that, okay? Because it's a shock. But we... You know, I know we... Can I say something, though? Can I, I, can, I, can I finish before you say carry something, carry please? Carry so we are a bona fide campaign. This isn't some sort of Instagram sensation. I've been an activist for over 35 years in the community, mostly, advo- mostly advocating for the rights of black brothers. You understand? But we've got an issue. So we, what started this campaign is that we had an issue in our community where girls were being beaten, raped and all the rest of it. OK, we all know what goes on in our community. We've never had a voice that advocates for that. Okay, so I started this. I started this based on the fact there was a character called Vincent Rat in Brixton that was terrorizing the community. He's a nasty piece of work, very dangerous man. Um, And it came to a point where we can't be intimidated anymore just because people are gangsters, you know, and I'm not I'm not directing that at you, by the way. I'm just saying I'm, I'm just I'm just telling you how we started. Okay, that led to a flood of every week my inbox being flooded with different stories. Now, I'm a psychotherapist. I work forensically. I work in the prison system. I work with the courts. uh, And I've been doing this for 35 years. There is no way... I also have a son who's 28 years old. There's no way that I'm going to call out brothers and destroy their careers. It's not going to happen. It's it's not going to happen. I'm only going to do that. Listen, I'm only going to do that when I see evidence... That leads me to believe. You get me? Yeah. 
Okay. I have gotten, I have got, I have gotten, I have got a um, charge for me and my baby mom fighting. That was years ago. Me and my baby mom were back together. You opened up old wounds. Mm. I have got a charge for me. I have got a fight with my baby mom. Me and my baby mother together. You can speak to her yourself if you want. She was attacking me. I just defended myself. Obviously, that's how happy my baby mom was. Not, not no pushovers. I mm. like lionesses. And sometimes mm. she happens. And obviously, we had an argument and she happened. And I'd get, I would get like, I'd go to jail for that. So for you, that happened in 2016. So if that's what you that's what you're alluding to, I I do have that on my case, and that's the facts. But at the same time, in 2023, my listen to me, my love. Uh-huh. In 2023, I come. Listen, let me finish speaking. Okay, I let you speak. I haven't I said anything. Let me spend, let me finish speaking. though, my love, I come from the ghetto. You know how hard I work to get here. Mhm. I hear that. And for you to put this, I'm putting that. For you to be bringing up a charge that happened in 2016, yeah. But you're assuming that's what I'm what I'm dealing with. That's not the only thing that we're talking about, though. I Dylan. know, but anything else, I, anything else, I can't speak about. I look because I know nothing about it. That's the only thing I can talk about. Mm. Because I only can tell the, the only can speak on the facts that I can that I know about. That there is concrete evidence, and this is what's happened. That is what happened. And me mm. and my baby mother are fine to this day. We are good. I have multiple babies. I have, I have ten children. Mm-hmm. I have a twi- I have a twenty seven year old. Well, that, have, the, 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 that's one aspect. Love, that's one. Speaking, though, I have listen to me, my love. I have seven boys, so I'm just saying if you're referring to something that um, happened in 2016, that I've done my crime, I've done the time, and me and my baby mother are back together and we're cool, and we're sorted. We don't get involved in domestics wild. of that nature. Yeah, I'm not saying that you yeah. involved in domestics. I'm saying to you, and let me speak on my love, I'm saying to you, the charge, what you are talking about, that is the charge. If you want to speak but to no, my baby But no, I haven't, mother, I haven't told speak you speak that's the charge I'm talking about. Up. You're assuming what, what that's the charge I'm talking about. There's no, there's no, Sorry, carry on. Sorry, I don't want to speak. Up, you're you're irate. assuming that's the charge I'm talking about. I'm, you know, it's it's what? it's it's not the only thing what else, what else, that's been reported to up? us. You know, it's not the only thing. And if we put that to work, because if you see in the post, there there's there's two levels to it. We talked about the domestic yeah, violence. I'm people, but but we, I have no, I haven't, I haven't drugged nobody, so that's just wild. So I'm not, I, I'm not, I, can't, I can't speak on that. Okay. I can't speak on the drugging people because I don't, I don't, do, I don't do drugs to be drugging people. That's okay. the truth. I just about to smoke weed. Okay. I don't even smoke weed no more. That's a stupid situation for you to say. Please, I don't. I can't speak on that. Whatever okay. evidence you, whatever you've got there, that's all I can. But all I can speak about is the fact that I know there is a charge, and if that's what it is, that is fucked up. That you're bringing that up because it's bringing you the open up old wounds that would move. As I say, we wouldn't we wouldn't is, get I'm involved with a single incident well, of, of, of domestic violence in between you and your baby mother. With that, I mean, come on, that's petty. We wouldn't do that. Well, my love, that's the only charge I've ever had, though. Mm-hmm. Okay. That's my only charge, my love. That I'm telling you, that's my only thing. That's, I mean, me and my baby, my bad fight with just that, and I just you get me. Obviously, police. Have, have, have you recently? Have you recently? Um, have you recently I've, had an altercation with your son? I've recently had an altercation with my son. And there's no, just no. That's not my son. This is not what you put in the, in the papers, though. That's not what. The no, charge, I'm, I'm, what I'm asking. Yeah. I'm asking that. Have there's you... not. That's none. That's neither. No, I've got. That's not. I'm not. I'm not. I'm not that's wild. No, no, listen to me, my love. Let me show you something. Yeah, I, you're a black activist. Isn't it? So you see, as these children and whatnot, yeah, you see when they can't be reprimanded and whatnot and they can't be told what to do and they go to the police and all of that, that's a problem. That's a problem in our community today because mm-hmm. we can't discipline our children and keep them in a, in a, a control our own place. No, I hear that. I stuff. hear that. So, so for me, so for me as a black man and my child, and you get me, anything that my children do, I'm, I'm daddy. So I'm not saying I troubled anybody. I'm just saying anything because I've been a daddy. And that's what daddy's got to do sometimes. It's like I said, if you think mm-hmm. you're big and bad, sometimes you, 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 it's either me or you're going to the jail cell or you're going to the blood club and the courts. Mm-hmm. I mean, to the death, to the death place. Mm-hmm. So, so I'd, be, I'd rather reprimand my children. So anything to do with my children is wild. And that's not that. Well, as, a, as I said, like, as I said. Love, that's not what we're talking about right now. That's not what you put into the, in, in, in the paper, in, in, your, in, your, in your article. Mm-hmm. That's not what we're speaking well, about. Well, as as I said, there's, not, it's, it's just it, my if you thing is, if, my if, thing is this, let my me thing just is this let me just explain the Instagram background. thing to you. Um, what yeah. we'll, we're not going to give all the facts in. It's too long to give all the facts in an Instagram post. That's why we have the live so we can discuss everything. Do you understand? Yeah. So there's several allegations that we've received okay. from I'm several say, people. How many, how, many women, how many women have come to you? In the several like, allegations from several people. I said several, 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 not seven, several. As it, as as in more than one exactly, um, okay. and and we would never ever post anything unless I work off the power of at least three, and usually I want more, but at least three at the very baseline we need at least three people unconnected saying the same okay. thing about the same person. You understand? They okay. don't know each other. They have to be unconnected. And then when I said at the very least. At the very least, it has to be three people. I didn't say it was three people. Are these people victims of are these people victims of me? Absolutely. Well, they say they are. They say they are. They say they are. I'm going to um, examine all of the evidence, and that's what we do. We present that. 
um, and then they, you know, sometimes it leads to police investigation. Sometimes it doesn't. When you talk about defamation, we've been to def we've been to the high court with defamation before, and we won. Because you'll see that on my Instagram page. Why? Because we are definitely dealing with evidence. All you have to prove, all you have to prove, can I just say, all you have to prove in a defamation case is that we believed it to be true. And the burden of evidence is for you to, to prove that you didn't. That's how defamation works. And, and, and the, disadvantage, the disadvantage of defamation is that it is absolutely public. So all of the details, all of the business will be all out in the public. Which is not something anybody you've wants. Made public, my love. You've made all the bit, like, all the no, I'm just saying, like, when it comes to the to the real evidence, because I don't share all of my evidence. I share I share enough evidence to verify it, uh, and then I I retain whatever evidence in case that victim wants to go to the police. That's the way we work. Okay, I listen to me, my love. All I can say is. I get I have been in trouble before, but if that's what it is, that's fucked up that you bring it up because I've gone past that now. I'm a whole brand new black. Like, well, like I said, listen, day. I'm going live on Friday. There will be a yeah, victim. Well, there that, will be I a victim that is prepared to go I'm public. Sorry, can I just say live, there can is? I, can, I ask you, can I ask you something then? Sure. Before you go live, can, because I've got children and things to feed and that, and you get me you're messing up my fucking runnings, blah. blah. I've got like I've got my scrap film coming out in the next few months and that like I said, isn't it? Mm -hmm. I don't know. I don't know what I don't know who I've got made mad or who I've pissed off or who I've done something to for them to come at me like this. But this is wild, my love. I've been trying my best to do my best. You get me if you know where I'm coming from, you get me my story's mad. So for me to be where I am right now, you get me, it's been hard work and you fucking just undoing it all, fam. That's that's my that's my thing, you understand it, love. It's yeah, like, I wild. hear like, it. I, like I said, you get But I'm, at the same I'm, time I'm, I can't I'm, ignore I'm, the I'm, allegations, I'm, I'm Dylan. Angel, but what you're putting out there is wild, my love. Like it's a bit, it's a bit much, man. It's a well, bit we're much. not reckless like in said, in what I, we I, do. If you're my sister, and if you're my sister, and if you're my sister, like you're saying, your sister, take some consideration. I've tried hard to get to a situation where I am now. I'm not, now I don't come from a rich background. I don't have nothing. Uh, this is the first film I've written, executive produced myself. I've worked in this industry for a long time and ain't really got nothing. I, I, I really hear time. that. I hear that, Dylan. Saying, I hear people. that. But at the same time, we can't out. ignore the, the allegations because no, there's more I'm than one. If there's allegations, if there's allegations, if there's allegations, just let them go to the police, let them handle it. Please, because this is madness to me. You I know, some like some people this, feel this very... Some, some people have reported to us, Dylan, that they're very, very scared of you. That's why they're not going to the police so far. They're very, very scared of me. Mm -hmm. my love, listen to me, my love. Listen to me, my love. I don't know who these people are because I don't trouble nobody. Mm -hmm. I keep myself to myself. I grew up in a certain environment. I've been trying to get myself out of this environment. And this is not how I'll be. This is what I'm trying to say. I've got 10 children. Like mm -hmm. I said, isn't it? I like I, I put everything on pull. Like I, I'm relying, I'm relying on my next move, and, and for you to do this is kind of crazy. Like I said, my phone comes out on the 12th of September. So at first, I just thought it was like, yo, is somebody just really trying to assassinate, like, like mash up my No, it's not. Like, I, don't, I don't. Happening. I don't but even I follow you. I don't know your progress or anything. You told me it was in the summer, um, beginning of the summer when you went out that somebody came to you. So it's probably not directly to do this. My film was only announced. It's coming out a few months ago, a few weeks ago. Oh, okay. So I'm just saying, say, the timing of this, yeah, I don't know if it's God or whatever, whatever, or you get me, or, or my past got or whatever, not. But right now, I'm trying my best to be move forward in life, my love. And this isn't helping me, man. Mm -hmm. And like I said, I'm not out here, dude. I'm not out here troubling nobody. I'm so, I'm back with my baby mothers. I'm, we're just trying to sort our life and move forward. And this shit right here, like I said, I got babies and I, I, I'm trying to feed and I, like I said, if I was a bad dude and that fair enough and I'm out here doing a madness and that, you know where I'm coming from, fam. I'm trying my hardest. Mm. So for you to be out here talking about some stuff with me and my baby, I'm just had an argument and fight or that's the only beating that I've ever been involved with any women. Mm -hmm. I can hand on heart, you say that, that's just it. So for anything else, I have no, no idea what the fuck you're talking about. But and and I, I hear you. As I said, yeah, it is alleged. Heart. And when we look at the evidence, then we'll see if it's alleged or not. And you've got a right to defend yourself, absolutely. Yeah, if we're, if we're proven to be wrong, you're Dylan, if we're, if we're proven to be wrong, love, yeah, love, which I don't think we are, if we're proven to be wrong, then I am more than happy to take I'm the bullets. But you can't be proven to be wrong when it's facts. I'm telling you that I've had, I have, I have that, that mm. charge, my love, and you know I have. Well, as I say, you're focusing on one charge. thing and I'm focusing on lots of different yeah, things. Why are you focusing on because the drug stuff is And I'm not prepared to say that. I, I'm only going to say that on the live. That's the way we do our thing. That's it. I'm not going to say it here. I'm not going to give you that information here. And not least, because if there is any woman at risk, we need to make sure that they're safe before the life. That's what we do. I'm not listening to you. I can hand on heart say it. I'm not trying to trouble anybody. Mm. I'm not. That's not my fucking. That's not. My, I'm not out. 
I'm out here trying to better my life. Mm-hmm. I'm not out here, here trying to fucking get yeah, like, I'm not doubting that you're out here to try and better your life. Look, I'm pre- I'm between a rock and a hard place, and I'll tell you why. I'll give you a story very, very quickly, yeah? My daughter, my youngest daughter, her first cousin, which is my baby father's nephew, is big nasty, okay? Now, I like him. I got on with him. My daughter loves him. He's part of my daughter's family, okay? Imagine my horror when I was approached by his niece, which is my daughter's cousin, to tell me that Big Nasty's stepdad had been sexually assaulting her from when she was five years old. I didn't want to run the story because it was too personal. But I had to make that choice, Dylan. Am I gonna? Yeah, am I gonna? Am I gonna represent? Oh no, wait. Am I gonna? No, I know it's a. I know it's a different thing. But hear what I'm trying to say to you. Yeah, <clears throat> I had to make that call. Am I going to represent the victim wholly and solely, like I would any other victim, or am I going to be biased because of 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 Tyrone or Nasty's progress? Because I didn't want to do it because of where he's going, because I know where he's coming from. So I hear you. But I'm here representing victims and survivors, and I have to represent I'm, them. I'm a, I'm a victim. I'm a victim, and I'm a survivor. That's what I'm trying to explain. Yeah, it's, it's like it's like there's always two sides to a limit speed, though. There's always two sides to a story. Mm-hmm. But I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna say, oh, this is happening and that's happening. This is happening. And I just reacted because I was defending myself. I just shit just happened, and I don't need to get into the isms. Isn't You're honestly, still focusing though, on your baby speak, mother. Speak, it's not. I'm. Let me speak, let me speak though. Mm-hmm. If you want to speak to my baby mother, that's fine. You can. That's you get me, and that's the, you get me. Can understand the situation. But you're just talking about one person. I'm happy to speak to your baby mother. As I say, I'm not going to be able to tell you that now. In case, in in case, we're not talking about being to jail necessarily, are we? You're talking about charges. I'm telling you, anybody that have listened to me, like I said, I'm 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 from a certified actor. I'm going to. My, 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 what I'm gonna do is gonna send me to jail. I'm, I just I try not to act up. Mm-hmm. I don't try. I try not to lose myself. I try not to fucking have a moment when I switch out. Try not to lose myself in things and that. So mm-hmm. anything else, I'd, I'd, I I would have been gone to jail. I'm telling you that. Like I said, you're focusing on this situation with your I mean, baby mother. Yeah, I'm, I'm actually on, not. I'm saying to you that I've shit. had several allegations from several different people, but you're focusing on this one thing. And you're asking me what that is. I'm, you're asking me what that is. And I'm saying I'm not prepared to do that until we've safeguarded those people. And we usually do that on the live. And if there is evidence against you. Oh, no, 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 no. We, we were having a civil conversation. If it's going to get disruptive again, I can't. I'm just asking question. How do you safeguard them on live? I don't understand. No, 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 no. Of course, we, we have our ways of safeguarding them. Of course we do. But I'm not going to tell you what they are, obviously. No, I'm just saying to you, like, nobody's threatening. Listen to what I'm saying to you. I'm not threatening anybody. I'm not free. I'm not. Free. But anyway, that's the be all. That's the main thing anyway. Because you said, stop speaking, man. I, I've done, I, I'm not threatening anybody. That's the be all. End all of it. That's not nothing. What I'm trying to do. All I'm trying to say is I got a film coming out on the 12th. If you want to have this discussion, have it after the 12th, please. She's gonna say it. Uh, can I? All right, no, all right, all right. Can I? No, listen to me. I'm, I'm, and I hear what you're saying, and I know what you and I know what you're saying. But can I just have this conversation? Can you have this conversation after the 12th of September, please? And let it just ride to the 12th of September. Let it bubble. Let everybody, let you let inbox anybody else who's got any information to come and let them come forward and have this conversation after the 12th. That's all I'm going to ask them. Well, we've already put it out there, Dylan, I'm afraid. I did, yeah, I did, I did, I did um, inbox, inbox you before, if you look, if you look rightly. I've been trying numbers that were provided for me, but yeah, they didn't but go I, through. I don't know, because nobody's going to have my number. My number's been the same. And, um, I, and I did, I did, I did inbox number. you. I DM'd you before yeah, I put the post love, out. My love, my love, my love, my love, my love, my love. I don't go through all of my inboxes. I don't do all of that. I'm not. I'm not a social media guy. Like I said, I've, I've been working out. Yeah, I'm trying to work. I ain't got time for social media like that. Okay. It's just even the situation. Like I said, isn't it? I'm just asking you a question because I've got a film coming out. I'm not able to and do that. I'm not able to, 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 to reschedule that speak. live. Let unfortunately. Let me speak. Let me speak. Let me speak. Yeah. It's not going to just affect my livelihood. It's affecting many other people's livelihood. Kids that have gone out their way and it's their first thing. He's got Africa. He's got loads of band. Okay. He's been through enough. He's got loads of kids in here. That's be get me. I'm opening up the door for them to do something else. If you check my resume, that's if right. you're innocent, me. Dylan, then they won't be affected. Let me speak. Let me. I'm not innocent. I'm up. Listen to me, my love. I come from gang banging and killing motherfuckers. I'm not innocent. I'm trying my best though to move forward. I'm not. Love. I'm not talking about any kind of gang activity. No, no, I don't know any about yeah. anything Let me about that. I don't. I, I don't know anything about any gang violence or anything like that. I don't know anything about that. I'm not saying I'm a normal civilian. I understand that. 
I'm trying to say to you, I've got a lot of stuff going on right now that's trying to better myself, and I've got people involved and kids involved, and they was looking for a way out, and this is helping them to get a way out. Can you just wait till after the film comes out, please? That's all I'm asking. I'm not able to do that, that I'm afraid, Dylan. Run whatever you're going to run, because whatever conversation you're going to have, and if, you have, if I'm wrong, I'll stand on it. If I've done something, I will admit to it. That's the truth of the situation, because I did it. But I'm saying to you, and the strength of the other people involved. But you've, you've, and, um, well, you've, you know, I've you asked you several that. questions and you've said that you haven't done it. So th- have, that's your right to reply. You you yeah? No, no, no. I didn't ask you. Violence. I didn't ask you about that. You presented that. I asked you about yeah, your... but I'm saying to you, yeah, but I'm saying to you, that's the only, because I'm telling you, that's, 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 that's the, if there's any battering of any woman or any fighting with any women, that's what it's been. Okay, so you're saying that's the only only incident that you've had is with that baby mother in 2016. Okay, I hear that. Um, and you're saying I mean, that you've I mean, never I drugged anybody, out, yeah. you've never put your hands on any other woman, and you've never drugged any woman. Okay, that's what that's what you've said. I hear you. So can we have this conversation after 12 is what I'm asking? No, we can't. We, Just... it's, it's going to go ahead on Friday, Dylan, I'm afraid, because that's when it's scheduled for. And that's in the interest of the victims as well, or the alleged victims, should I say. She's not getting no fucking victim. She's got a show. All right. Okay, okay. Well, you're, you're entitled to your opinion, my love, but that's not the way it is. Stop speaking, man. 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 Stop the air. Just leave her. I know the air is cool. It's all right, man. It's all right. It's not even anything. Like I said, what I'm going to be will be my own. Look, you're you're entitled to your opinion. You're going to have your beliefs. But um, no, I'm speaking to the young lady in the background. She's entitled to her opinion. She's going to have. Um, I am speaking to you because you're very vocal and you're very loud. So, of course, I'm speaking to you. I, I did call her a young lady, but thank you for telling me who she is. Um, but I did. I, I wasn't derogatory in any way. And I am being very manageable and very respectful. I said I'm speaking to the young lady in the background. She's very loud and vocal, and I can hear her. She is addressing me. But you are addressing me, so I have the right to reply to you, whether you're speaking directly to me or not. This is the mother of my children. This is the mother of the child that you that you was accusing me of doing something. But I didn't accuse you of that. Let me speak, though. Let me speak, though, my love. Like I said, she's been around me for how long? 22 years. Okay, I'm going to say it again, Dylan. You are focusing on that one incident, and I am focusing on other things. I don't know who else. Who else have I beat up? Who have I drugged up? It's madness. Can I ask you a question? Sure. And who is, who is this? Who is this? Who is she explained who she is. She explained who she is. She's an um, she's, um, she's, 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 she's a activist and she's a she's a poetist and she's a social commentator and that. But I just just wild on her. There is there is one victim. Can I just explain? You have asked me. Um, there is one there is one victim. There is one victim who is prepared to speak publicly and that victim will be away from where their normal environment when they do that. We will make sure of that because they want to be safeguarded. And there are several other victims who want to remain anonymous but have provided evidence. So that's how we safeguard them. Hello? So anybody could just fold you in chat? Yeah, hi, I'm here. So anybody could just fold you in chat shit, basically? No, not at all. Not, not at all. We we do months of investigations. We speak to people. We corroborate their their testimonies. We ask for material evidence if there's any, and that's what we do. We don't just put people on and fling them out there. We do for months. I do this for a living, and I'm just doing it in the community, that's all. I Like I said, I work forensically. So when I question these women, they can't put anything past me, usually. We've never been proven that these women are lying, any of the women that come to us, because they can't. I'm not just going to have some woman come on and make an allegation against a brother because she's vexed or because she wants to get revenge. That's not the way we work, Dylan, not at all. That's fair enough, but I just can't understand why somebody would want to come at me like this. That's what, that's what my reason is. And they're saying that they're scared of me. And I'm, I, I ain't trouble. All the people I've been arguing to my baby mothers. And they like, I'm get me. I live, I live, I live, I live, um, I live, um, I live, I live, I live, my lifestyle is different. So I don't know. I, I, I don't know about all of this. Like I said, I live a polygamous lifestyle. My lifestyle is different, different. So for people to be like at me and that, I don't know. These must be scored with me. Because obviously, I, I don't know. I don't know, man. I don't know. My babe, I'm with my baby mothers. Those are the people I'm around. So for anybody else to be talking any match, it's wild to me. Wild, okay. wild, wild. And I've only had I've only had one or two relationships since I've been not with my baby mothers, and that wasn't get me. So for anybody, so I don't know, man. 
and it must be that must be them people talking shit about me because I ain't had no other relationship. My baby mother's with me right now, sitting down with me. Okay. So really? for me to be having so so I have got like a team of people that we can give you a, a real like in, like I said, these people have been around for twenty odd years. They can give you a real insight to me. Mm-hmm. Anybody that's been around like I don't know, man. It's wild. It's wild, man. It's wild. It is what she needs to do because she needs the views. Nah, she, I already know who I already I, I don't need the views. Um, I, 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 I work for a living. I believe, you know, I believe you do need the views. I, I, I don't. I'm involved, so I'm involved in so many different. I am involved in in many, many. I am involved in many, many different projects across the community. I don't need views. I put boots on the ground and I work for a living. What is the what is the what is the what is the main stop speaking man? Stop talking man, please stop speaking. I'm on the phone. I'm not sitting not I'm on the phone to somebody can you please so so let me speak? So let me speak. Yeah, but let me speak. So what is your like what is your what what do you get out of this? What do I get out of it? Yeah, what is it? What 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 are you hoping to happen out of this? Stop speaking, man. What are you hoping Out of my campaign? Out of my campaign, is that what you're saying? Is that what you're asking? Like, what does this, what does this, like, what does this do the campaign to exists to advocate for victims of abuse in the community. That's what we get out of it. Making change. Making change. Mm-hmm. I, because so it, I know, because there's never been a voice for black I'm women in the community to be able to talk about it. I'm sure you know who I am, so you know that I've done a lot of community work. You get me? I, do a lot I of don't. Work. I just, you know what? Do you know the only thing I know of you, Dylan, and I'm, I'm not being facetious, I'm being perfectly honest, yeah. is years ago... I have a 35-year-old daughter and a 28-year-old son. And years ago, they were watching this video of this film that was made in Birmingham with these guys and whatever. And that's all I know. My first film I made. Yeah, yeah one day. Made, so that, that's all I can relate to. Right, and, after that, so after that, so after and I didn't that, really watch it. I was actually telling them, I was telling them off for watching it. Are you serious? I was telling my kids off for watching it because it was about gang violence. So I didn't like it. That's all it I know. Yeah, I haven't followed the journey. You haven't come there on was, my radar until there. now. There was a message in there. There was a message in there. But all right, then. All right, then. All right, can you please tap into One Mile Away? Go on YouTube right one, now. One Mile Away. One, when I come up okay. the phone, okay. One Mile Away, so you can understand kind of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. I'm not an angel. And I'm not saying I'm an angel, you know. I'm just saying, see, I'm trying my hardest to be, you know, move forward and mm. that. And this is fucking me up, my love. That's all I can say. Like, if you watch one, type in One Mile Away into YouTube right now. I promise me you're going to watch it today. I haven't really got time to watch it today, but I will do that. I will do that tomorrow. No, we, but I'll need you to watch it tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, I'll do that tomorrow. And then you can understand, like, more of who you're dealing with and what you're dealing with. And that. Well, yeah, I mean, like look, I said, I I'll, I'll, get, I'll get the team to get onto it and send me some stuff around that. No, They've I been want doing you their, to um... watch it personally. No, I will, I will watch it, but they'll source it for me. I want me. you to watch it. Type, type into YouTube now so you've got it logged into your thing one mile away. One mile away. All right, I'll look for that. One mile away, because I'm an activist. Listen to me, I'm an activist in my community. I change stuff in my community. I've, I've got loads. Listen to me, we, got, we had a gang violence. We had a problem in Birmingham with the two major gangs, Burger Bar and Johnson's. Mm-hmm. I brought the gangs together. Man, we've been working together, doing stuff and doing a whole lot of stuff. Mm-hmm. This right here, my love, I ain't put my hands on no females in 2020, bomb clock, tree, sorry, or whatever year it is, or however long. I ain't done nothing to nobody. So for you to be bringing up some stuff that's not, that isn't relevant right this second right now it's crazy like i said Peter, that you see with people and that and this is what you have to understand and that shit happens and people move on and, and yeah i'm not perfect in that but to be bringing up if it was fresh and it was, i was on a charge and dylan's wanted for beating up this girl and that girl and fit i ain't troubled nobody. well we deal with current and historic person. abuse we, we deal with yeah, stuff but, that goes back 30 years what I'm saying sometimes to, well, listen to what i'm saying to him my love listen to what i'm saying to him my love listen to what i'm saying to him my love I'm coming from a certain environment. I'm trying. I'm not perfect. I'm telling you this. I'm, I need to understand this. People make mistakes. Things happen, and that. And mm-hmm. you understand it. Yeah. You know, but I'm trying my best to move forward as a black man and try and represent all these. I got a lot of people watching me, and I got a lot of kids and that that look up to me and change their life because of what I'm saying. You're assassinating mm-hmm. my character, my love. We don't That's need to assassinate like, your no, character, you, but you as know, I say, me, I'm a person. Listen to me. Listen to me. I'm a person that's created change in my community. Mm-hmm. You're undoing all of my work, my love. You're making me not valid no more for me to be able to change these kids. You know, I've changed people. I've stopped people from dying, murders, this, that, and the third. Like, you assassinating my character, my love. And we've come a long way to do this. Like I said, I don't think I'm assassinating. I'm just presenting information. No, I can't assassinate. I cannot assassinate your character. I'm not an angel. You don't have to present any information. I'm, a, I'm telling you, I'm a, I, I I'm can't a assassinate your character. Baby, 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 you're putting a film a gangster. And I'm not trying to be a gangster, though, no more, B. So I'm trying to say to you, you're not, you're not allowing me to change, my friend. 
you know, I, I just thought, oh, this is what I'm trying to, this is the angle I'm coming at, you know, allowing me to change, be. You I'm know, here with you be because that that's why it's important for us to talk to you because um, that's the image that's out there. If you're saying that that's it, then I'm, unless I follow you, I'm not going to follow that journey, though, am I? What would you rather? Because I'm going to my options are going to be very low after this comes out after you after you assassinate my character. So I'm saying, what do you, would you, what what am I supposed to be back in the streets again? For real, you know what's a problem I am when I'm in the streets. I'm trying not to do that. I, I, I'm trying to create other options and avenues for me to do something else. Um, get me right my wrongs, B. Um, you're not allowing me. To um, do that. Listen, you've said that you're not you're not guilty of those things. So if you're not I'm guilty, to, then it listen, won't be a problem. To me, listen to what I'm saying to me. Listen to what I'm saying. Look, to we're going round these circles. Me, I think. You me of, listen to me. What you've accused me of and what I've done in life is idiot business. I give you, like I said, most people know they know my gangster. They don't even give a fuck about this. It's only going to be for the fucking people who's going to be fucking writing in this. I'm just saying to you, this is, this is more of this is more of corporate world stuff. Yes, not allowing me to do my do my thing, my love. No one listen to me. I've, I've been I've been put in a, when I when I've been how much you know the police put me the police put me. I'm going to tell the truth. Before the police put me in and want um, they put me as wanted for domestics. I didn't even I wasn't even wanted. Yeah, I have I have I have like I have people I have campaigns against me regularly. There's a campaign, you can check YouTube. There's been a campaign of Dylan Duff, and I went, I went to the police and said, no, nah, that shouldn't have been put out there because you were not wanted. Well, I don't know about that. I don't away. know Listen to what I'm saying. That. That. It was dropped straight. Listen to me, my love. It was dropped straight away. They said, you two counts of domestic violence. Mm. It was dropped straight away. Mm. I have. I always have campaigns against me. This isn't my first rodeo, my love. Mm. I'm just usually from the police and whatnot that are trying to assassinate my character. I don't like what I'm doing in my community. Mm. When I told them that, when, when we told them that we're stopping the murders, and that they said, hey, why are you doing that? They said, we get paid. Mm. You understand it, so I have, I do have, I have campaigns against me. West Midlands police hate me because of the gang stuff I done. With they spent three hundred fifty million pounds to try those pumping money into my community, it had zero effects. We had zero money. We'd have a violent crime one every for fifth. We didn't have gun violence in my um, community for eighteen months. Like I do this thing, I'm really out here trying to do better. Be. I hear what I you're really, saying, Dylan, saying, but that's that. I'm those just, things just, have got nothing to do with, with the, the allegations that we've received. Watch the one mile away. Listen to me. Watch the one mile away, so you can understand where I'm coming from. I'm not saying I'm an angel. I'm just trying to say I'm do trying to do better. And this right here is gonna fuck me up, in because it? it's already fucking me up. All right, listen. You've listen. We're gonna go around in circles, aren't we? So yeah, nah, you've just, you've just, you've made your reply. To, you've denied speak, the allegations. I'm hearing that. I just need to speak that. my truth, innit? I just need to speak my truth. So the once I speak my truth, then you get me. Whatever happens, happens. I'll leave it in God's hands. All right, and I'm hearing you, but I have to go. I have to go. I do have to go now. And well, I'm saying, watch it one mile away. you're gonna promise me you're gonna watch it one mile away. I promise you, I won't. I won't. I wouldn't say that I would if I wasn't. So I and will do that. And when you do, contact me back, please, and just contact me back to let me know that you watched it. Okay, I will. To know that you, so you understand what you're dealing with, because I'm not. I, I'm not an angel, my love. Mm -hmm. I don't come from. I don't come from an environment. I come from. I'm like I said. I grew up in murder, drugs, sex, and mayhem. Mm -hmm. I'm. I'm trying to do better. So any like I, like I said, I've, I've worked so hard to get this film, and it's the first film I've written, executive produced. This is like I said about a lot of stuff going on. You contacted all of my businesses and everybody. You know what I do out here. But I'm saying to you, I do a lot of work in my community as well, and a lot of people look up to me, and a lot of people respect what I'm trying to do. So for you to be doing, bringing up some shit that ain't relevant to the, ain't, ain't, ain't of what's happening right here, right now. And like I said, people change, things change, and that you paint me with a brush that I'm, that I'm no that I'm no longer am. Okay. That's what I'm trying to say. All so right, for Jenny. you to be, like I, I said, I, I have, I have, I have fight my baby mothers. Me and my baby mothers are wild to get me, but like I said, we're still together 20 odd years later. This is not for you. Like I said, it's not like I said, people fight and argue. Like I said, more time, my baby mamas are like the lionesses. I've been the victim more time. It's just when I've reacted and I should not. I just was going through at that time. And I laughed out as well. But do you do you understand that if there are victims, that they have a right to be heard? Do you understand that? No, listen to me. If there's victims, they've got the right to go to the goddamn police. That's what they've got the right to do. And they also have a right to be heard. We know. Okay. Listen to me. They've got a right to be heard, but... Why would you want to? I'm saying to you. I'm saying to you. That's fine. You can, you can talk to them and that. If you've got some advice to give them and they feel like they've been a victim of me, then fair enough. Give them some advice and some support and tell them your D boys. I don't know what you want to say about me, but they need the support and what's it called? I just don't need you fucking up my feet. I'm trying to feed my kids. B. I don't want to do road. I don't. If I go back outside, I'm not coming back in. I don't want to be outside. B. Is what I'm telling you. You know, I'm from the bottom of my heart. That's all I care about. I don't want to be outside. You know. Mm -hmm. I'm trying my hardest to do the right stuff in life. I don't want to be outside, my love. I'm telling you, I know exactly what's going to. If I don't have, I don't have no, hope, I don't have no education, no nothing. I grew up outside. I don't have no old, no aunties, no uncles, no oldest, no men. Nobody say Dylan, do this, do this. I've just figured this. Shit. I'm trying to figure this thing for life out myself. 
I don't have nobody to, I don't have no support system around, man. It's just me. And what so you're saying, outside, what you're saying is, is that there's... Outside, just plug in, Listen to me, like I said, in, I've worked hard to get to where I am right now, innit? So I'm just saying to you, I'd be calling me, if you get me, if you, you're who you are, you're saying who you are, and I, I know, I think, in my, I know in my heart of hearts that you're a good person, I can hear it in your voice, I'm just saying to you, that person that you're trying to paint me, I'm not that person, my love. I'm, I'm, I'm not trying. I'm not. It's not personal, Dylan. I'm not trying to paint yeah, you with anything. Not personal, it's not personal, I'm not personal, trying to paint you with anything. Personal. I've received it's allegations. Right now, so Listen, no, to no. Look, we've got to wrap this. Say that women are, so what you're trying to say is that I need to be stopped because women are at um, risk of being around me. What what it's I've received, what I've received, are allegations from women who say that you've abused them. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Okay, so that's all that's, I can that's, say. That's cool. That's all right. That's fine. That's all right. That's fine. Now, I'm just saying yeah. to you, fam. Listen to me. I'm just saying to you, fam. Like I said, I'm a Batman. And like I said, I've come a long way. I'm not an angel. I don't listen to me. I'm figuring out this thing called life. I didn't even understand not fighting women and whatever. I didn't even get... I didn't, I've never had no conversation with nobody like this. I didn't even violate. I demonstrate. That's just how I've grown up in it. I'm learning as well, I you mention Well, you mention your baby mother. That's put aside because you keep focusing on that. But you're yeah, saying that... No you're no saying no you've, you've, you've never... I've never you've, had no you've fight. Never, um, I've never had a fight with my sister and my baby mothers. I've never had a fight with no other woman ever. Mm-hmm. I've never done nothing to no other woman ever. I've never had a fight with my sister and my baby mothers. That's it. Never had no fight with nobody. So for you to be saying all this about battering women and all of this shit, it's a sass name, my character. And, and, and do, we, there's my women... There, are, are, are you baby saying baby that there's... Baby mothers, baby mothers, can I just say, are you saying that there's... Listen to what I'm saying to you, my love. My baby mums will beat you up. They're known for fucking your people up. That's what they do. They're wild. <laughs> All right, they're well, good for them. But and good luck but to that. that but, uh, that's my, it's not anybody else. There's, no, there's nobody else that could stand up put my hand on them because I haven't. You said, I was mentioning that there are women that are afraid of you and you're saying there's no reason for any woman to be afraid of you. Nobody to be afraid of me. I've never had no argument. Listen to me, I'm a nice guy. Okay. I'm known to be a good dude. I try my hardest to, I'm like, I'm a community activist like you. I okay. want to see everything. Like, watch the documentary so you understand. All right, listen, I'm going to watch that. I've I've got, I've got to wrap up now, Dylan. I'm not being rude. I've got a lot. I've got to wrap up. Watch it tomorrow and please contact me back when you watch it so you can understand who you're really dealing with. I will. Because you, then you'll get it. You'll get a better understanding. Okay. Like, a lot of people, listen to me. Let me ask you, sorry, a lot of people don't like me. And, well, I can relate to that. A lot of people don't like me either. Exactly. I'm sure you can, my love. I'm saying to you, a lot of people don't like me. That's my character. And I'm, like I said, it's wild out here in these streets in 2020, fucking three. But I, I, I ain't trying to trouble. No, I, be, I stay indoors. I hear I you. I, I hear you. I don't trouble nobody. I'm indoors. I hear indoors you, Dylan, but we're going around in circles now. So I hear yeah, you. Yeah, but I'm just... I, let, I, me, let me wrap up because I really do have to go. Whatever's, whatever's going to happen is going to happen. But I, like I said, it's cool. But like, do what you have, really have to do. But please watch it up so you understand. I will. I'm going to watch that tomorrow. I can't watch it tonight, but I will watch it tomorrow. Yeah, and I will I will let you know when I've watched it as well. All right, cool. All right, blessed. All right, bye-bye. Oi! So that was long, people. That was very, very long. But I thought it was important for you to hear the full conversation, unedited, all of it. Uh, and let's take it in chunks, because what you guys witnessed there was pure narcissism, let me tell you. Uh, if you notice, he came full force before, you know, he was trying not to show his colours, but they came out anyway. Uh, and then he changed tact. He tried to kind of come, you know, more civil, tried to appeal to my better nature tried to kind of mirror me, classic, classic, classic narcissistic behavior is what he was involved in there. So I'm going to take it really quick, because as we know, the victim that was going to come and testify uh, about the drugging, um, which it was important to play that because you hear him denying he has never drugged any woman, any woman whatsoever, right? Just remember that part. Uh, watch it back when you get the chance, because he definitely denies it. And I make sure that I ask him. He also denies uh, doing anything more to his son than uh, just black people discipline. You know, yeah, we get that as black people. It's not always acceptable, you know, in the eyes of the wider society. But we get that we have the right to discipline our children for ourselves. Uh, and the society doesn't feel that we do. And it can be that sometimes. And children can call police on you. We understand all of that stuff. So he kind of tried to make it sound like that's what was happening. The accusations are that you, Dylan Duffus, drug women against their will, of which you've denied, the accusations are is that you beat women of which you've denied. You understand? 
Um, and you've said that you're an overall nice guy. We are going to watch a clip from this one mile away, uh, which I didn't get to watch all of it, but I've, a clip was picked out for me. And I'm going to watch the rest of it after this live, actually. I don't think it's going to make much difference. Um, let's just take the drugging part first, because you yourself admitted that you do drug women against their will. You made light of it, Dylan, okay? Um, and you don't seem to think that it's a problem to do that. And it has distressed a woman that you were with very much. And you made light of that distress of her, yeah? You said you, 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 you belittled her distress is what you did. You belittled her distress. Um, you made her feel as if her complaining about you drugging her against her will was absolutely normal and that she was a drama queen. That's what you did. I can't play the clip, people, because it includes images of this individual and him together as a couple, basically, um, which they're not anymore for a long time. But he has been terrorising her um, and leading Peter. You know, his baby mothers have accused um, her of you know, running him down, the usual stuff that people would say, absolutely quite the opposite. He's the one that's been actually terrorising her and while she's trying to get rid of him. So there's some evidence that I'm going to play. I'm going to play it from my phone. It's very short, so I won't have to go through all that long list again. It's very short. But what you will hear here is him admitting that he does drug women in their sleep. <laughs> or sorry, not in their sleep, but drugs them until they're knocked out or whatever, uh, and that he puts things in this drink. Um, he mentions the drink that he's involved with called Camo or something. But anyway, listen to the clip if you can hear it properly. I hope you can from my phone. I can't play the video because the recording I have is part of a kind of video and it's, yeah, it's got images of the individual and we don't want that for tonight, okay? So just hang on in there. I just got into the realisation that I will not be getting certain things and put myself in the situations that are not good for me. That's it. That's bad you say that. Don't, don't try and blame me now. That makes more sense. So if you try to find some angles to accept it, you're right. And just keep that to you. In there, I just don't want me putting myself in situations that are not good for me in many different ways. You get what I'm saying? That's cool. What did you think that? But I got love for you. I listen. I want you to heal. And I want you to be better. And I don't want you sipping no drugs and nobody drinks. For no party time because listen i don't think you do it like you don't i don't, I don't think you do it because you hate me i said i had to defend I even even so defending you it's a turn up exactly he wants to turn all the way crank it all the way up without without my naughty jump you want me to turn up that's not good that's not good that's not good that's not good it's not good, it's not good. It's not good. It's not good. without my consent it's not a turn up it's traumatizing because I trust you. Yeah, so you got camel back your cops, you can close them open them so people can't want to sleep things in your chain. So promo. Just keep your cup on your back, girl, and you're around, man. Or say, close it back. Don't want to drink out of that. That's just, just, just don't. If you, you suppose something happened to me when I hear, when you hear, you hear you suppose something you happened to me, you suppose something happened to me, you would run out the house and leave me here to overdose. That's it to chop this thing here without the what's it called without gloves so on. Can we get more of a contact than what you need? Come on, mm, I'm talking shit. This is not my you thing. Know, you know about this stuff, but you obviously don't know a lot. I don't know. Talking, nothing. If, if I tell you to chop this thing up, you're gonna catch more of a contact than the contact I give it. I don't want to know about like it. That. I don't want to know about it. The fact that you introduce it you to me, it's not about it. It's just why it's just a normal thing to me. I don't want nothing else. You don't want to know about it. I don't want nothing else. But how come I only found in this out 10 years later, Dylan? It's mind fucking me. Uh, it's not going to make a difference either. I don't want to fucking wait. <laughs> it just breaks. It just keeps breaking me. I just keep breaking me. Some people, it's not. some people, it's not. And to some people, it's nothing. I'm one of the people, it's nothing. <laughs> okay, that's like some big issues are happening. Um, okay. Everybody's sweetheart. <laughs> I believe it or not. I'm still healing myself. I'm processing everything and I'll be like. Oh, you're just feeling sorry for your motherfucking self. As you I should. Snap yourself, look in the mirror. As I should feel sorry for myself. You, know, yeah, you, you don't you feel sorry for me. I'm alright. I'm alright. I just wish. Drama queen. 
that in a minute that's just him admitting that he's drugged her it's no problem why are you hyping you're a drama queen that's all i know and all the rest of it but he blatantly told me that he didn't he understand um you can say what you like joel eccleston he's there saying that he did he told me that he didn't but let's get back to the violent side of things and the fact that he's only ever beaten up his baby mother or baby mothers okay so i'm going to bring on um delia duffus which is uh, Dylan Duffus's sister. Uh, and I believe that your uh, daughter is there with him as well. Uh, yeah, we yeah. had a three-way conversation, a four-way conversation, in fact, with Dylan Duffus's son. Um, I'm not going to say his name because he's not coming. Well, actually, he's given me permission to say his name, but he's not coming on, right, Delia? Yeah, 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 no, he's not. Okay. So his son, Gilly, um, who's also called Dylan, Dylan Jr., but they call him Gilly. Uh, and I had another conversation with another one of his sons as well. So let's get into the real meat and potatoes of this evidence, because to be honest with you, you see the drug inside of things. And I've had testimony from other women. I've got text messages from other women that have even contacted him about this. Yeah. So we can show that we cannot show that. Uh, we're not showing that because the sister that was going to come on and bear testimony right here live has been uh, advised by the police not to do that. It's an investigation that they have undertaken. They're taking it very seriously. No, he hasn't been charged yet, for those who want to know. Um, but he will be, because um, there's enough evidence to charge him. I should imagine they will. And if they don't, then we will definitely be on their tail. That's what's happening with the drug inside of things. But when it comes on to the violence, the level of violence that this man perpetrates on women uh, not just women that he's romantically involved in, but women in his family and on his own children. It is uh, undeniable, isn't it, Delia? <laughs> yeah, it is. Yeah. I'm um, sorry. Uh, you have to forgive me because I'm a bit removed from from um, from that individual. So mm -hmm. it's all a bit of a, um, I don't know, haven't even heard his voice for a while, but it's a new mm -hmm. low, isn't it? What can I say? What yeah. can I say? Yeah, right. Really. Uh, in that recording with, with the young lady, um, you could kind of hear him, you know, <laughs> you could hear him um, being himself, as you like. And we're going to look at some actual video footage of him around that young lady where she's not in it, she's filming. So we can see him doing that. We'll look at that a little bit later on. Like yeah. I said, I Sorry, I'm thing. not. It, Let's it, leave that to one side for one minute, the drug inside of things. Let's talk about the violent man. The first thing that I want to really deal with, because this is the thing that really ripped my soul, you know, um, I am old school, Delia. Right. I'm very, very old school. And, um, oh, what's happened to my background? Oh, I don't know what's happened there. Never mind. Um, let's just stay on the beach. That's quite nice. Um, as Frenchman's Cove in Jamaica, one of my favourite places. Let's stay there. Um, so one of the things that uh, really hit me was, uh, as being an old school parent as well, that does believe in corporal punishment when it's needed. Um, I'm cultural. I'm old school. I don't have a problem with that. Um, so when he said that, you know, if I didn't know better, he would have appealed to my better nature on that. And on face value, I would have taken it that he just disciplines his children, you know, in a normal way. Yeah. yeah. But the son that we're talking about here, the one that he didn't really want to talk about in the recording, OK, is um, the one that he's on bail for at the moment, isn't it? That's right. Yeah. Right. Uh, and this is what 
this man calls discipline black people discipline this is what he calls discipline isn't it my god now you guys tell me i'm going to leave that up just for a second for it to marinate yeah you guys to get a good old look at that you guys tell me if that is ordinary black people's discipline look at that good blow up your screens people yeah is that discipline for you to gash your son in his face like that what is that is it a machete is it a knife yeah that's abuse that is not normal discipline and we don't claim that in the black community no we don't so let's put the drug in to one side because i have got more more uh, evidence on that and we've got other evidence that we cannot show tonight anymore because it's now become a police investigation all right just remember that people it's disgusting it's unforgivable and i don't know how anybody thinks that they can justify that but it doesn't stop there does it delia does it delia no it doesn't no tell me, um, tell me about the time sis um no let's just start from there tell, tell me about the time that he um broke your jaw um i was i was 16 carrying my daughter that's here mm -hmm. now um like I said, we don't have, a, we haven't, had, well, sorry, I've said to you, we don't have a relationship, but um, this, it's, it's control. He speaks for himself. <laughs> that person, when you talk about assassinating character, what needs to happen is his character being brought to the forefront. And as you can see, on a one-to-one, -one, this is the person that you're dealing with. <laughs> you know, I'm not here on my own. I'm standing with his children. Mm -hmm. I'm, I'm speaking yeah. for them. I know I know there's a lot of you gathered. Not everyone's going to speak tonight, but I know that you know quite a significant member of you, like people in his family are with you in the room today while you're talking. Yeah. Um. Yeah. And that's the right. truth will set you free. Is saying snitch boy. Um. Don't none of you lot come on here with no snitch shit if that's what you mean because we don't tolerate that crap here. These people should be snitched on. They should be snitched on, yeah? You people thought that you were going to come on here and that you were going to be able to explain it away like you normally do and try to vilify people. I already saw you in the comments talking about somebody called Kim that you were trying to vilify and um, snitch. Sorry. I don't care can, I just, can I just interject? Go ahead, sis. Because we're not going to tell them what you're feeling tonight. Yeah, I'll tell you that much. Kind of irrelevant. Oh, sorry, sorry. sorry the truth no, is no, I mean, don't I apologise. Wait, I apologise. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, sis, I apologise to the truth for set you free. He's calling Dylan the snitch. All right. Yeah. That, okay. this, this guy has been going on with himself. He, he, I've never really decided to um, speak on what he does because I know that one of these days his time will be up. Do you mm -hmm. know what I mean? It's just unfortunate and it does cut when it's my nephews. I, I, like I said, I'm, I'm very much removed from him and the situation and whatever he goes on with. As you can hear, <laughs> if that's the mother of one of those children, in fact, that child, <laughs> can you see, that's, that's Sorry, sis, that's the thing. I want people to know that you see the woman, yeah, the thing that was running up her mouth in the background defending what I don't know. She's one of the sister wives and that is her child's face that we've just shown. Can you imagine? Can you imagine? I want you to jump on here, sister. Let us talk to you because I think you need deprogramming. Yeah, let's give her some grace and say that she's a totally controlled woman. Yeah, let's do that. Oh, my yeah. God. Yeah. <laughs> and that, that's exactly what, what they've done. So even when they're speaking, I can't really, I feel sorry for them because like you said, for 20 years, dealing with that, <laughs> what you've heard, you know, mm -hmm. obviously that it's, it's, they've been manipulated. So to yeah. some extent, I pity them, but at the end of the day, that's what you're going to be doing with your mm -hmm. political relationship and your, I don't know, I, I think his sexuality in general is questionable because... <laughs> well, <laughs> wow, sis, I'm, I'm feeling hey, say that again, because I, I don't know if I misheard you there, say again. No, I'm saying I think his, his sexuality in general, I think it's questionable because it's more... <laughs> Sis, you know what? I actually wasn't going to go there. Well, I 
like I said, I've spoken to a stream of people from the community and, and what prompted even more people to DM me was the fact that there was an individual called um, Hands With Magic. And apparently he's called Magic, yeah? Um, and as few people good, <laughs> more than five, have given me that, that there's some kind of thing in the community that he's some sort of dealer and that he's involved with this magic guy and this magic guy defends him all the time because, you know, there's some sort of D-Lo dodgy relationship going on, but also that this magic guy has got learning difficulties. So that was concerning for me. I was thinking, well, has this magic guy actually even got, got capacity? Does he want to cuss me in the in the comments? Do you know what I mean? And then I was kind of going through some images and I thought, well, you know, make, make it mind up. what's all that about? Uh, yeah. It's yeah. a bit strange to me, really, you know? Uh, but, you yeah. know, look, if he is, come out and proud, brother. Don't repress it and be one of these repressed homosexuals that likes to beat up women. It's and probably, part it. it's probably part you know, of it's 2023. No one cares. Do your thing. Pent up, pent up aggression and stuff. It's, um, it's Which would be characteristic of um, D Lo repressed brothers that don't want to come out or whatever. It would be characteristic of it, wouldn't it? No one's saying that you can't be what you are. Just do your thing and stop repressing it, if that's the case. Get some help. Because um, there is an aspect of him that I feel from what you've told me and from what I've heard from everybody else, that I just think the brother needs some help. Because mm. I can't believe that one person can go steaming through their entire family, just beating everyone up like that. The thing so is, tell me about, tell me he's, about he's when an actor, he's, he's, he's an actor, he claims to be an acclaimed actor. I don't know about all that, but um, it's an act. Do you know what I mean? Narcissism is a word that's bandied about, but what you just experienced is... is that that's him, any that is mm -hmm. Dylan. That's Dylan Duffus. So, so um, let's get to when he, he, he grew up. up. I grew up in church. He grew up in church, right? Any any involvement outside of that was his choice. When he turned into his teens and didn't want to be bullied, he decided I'm going to be friends with the bullies because mm -hmm. that, you know, mm -hmm. this is the person that you're dealing with. Mm -hmm. I don't really um like I said the violence. That's where, for me, it's, it's, it's about my nephews. I don't really have no, yeah, because he, he goes around, like you've heard, brandishing these eight, ten, eight kids, whatever. Out of and, and quite a few of those children don't deal with him of those, because of this violence. Out of those eight kids mm. that are old enough, don't deal with him at all. Mm -hmm. They don't deal with him. They can't stand him. Mm -hmm. so, let, let me let me go through because we've got to take it in chunks there's so much like we were saying you know i want to talk about when you were talking to me about the time when he broke your jaw what caused the kind of real realization in you that he was completely out of control you know um i think i realized that before i did I, like i said i didn't really talk to him at the time i was mm -hmm. at I was living at my mom's house at the time. I was 16. I was pregnant. Um, mm. I was actually plaiting somebody's hair. And he came in. Um, the father of my children was outside. And I think he approached him first. And then he turned up. But like I said, <laughs> that's one of many. It's one of many. I don't even, like, I, well, I haven't dealt with him, you know, for 25 years. I haven't had a conversation. If he walks past me, I keep walking. I, I walk past. If I, when I was going to my mother's house, if he's there, we don't acknowledge each other. He doesn't. He doesn't talk to my children. There's not no uncle or brother relationship. I refer to him as my parents' child. <laughs> he, they have enabled him, unfortunately, to become the way that he is. Mm. And you know, unfortunately, it's it's what it is. Is it, where the problem lies now is I I can't deal with that. I'm a big woman. I'm almost forty, so mm. I've had remove myself from them as well so when he's talking about he's not destroying lives or families i'm, you, I'm speaking for my family because it's i fun. remember you um, saying that your family split because you know your mother enables him which i've been told by others as well that she's a lovely lady but she just enables him through protection you know protecting him classic, classic um old school jamaican woman style um you know this is what happens isn't it and that that enables him to shield, not to get, you know, have to be held accountable and stuff. Mm. And he split the family, you know. 
And not only that, you know, I, I love my people, but the community, <laughs> people yeah. know, people know what it's like. And it's, it's like I said, funnily enough, when that happened to my nephew or when other things have happened, I haven't had to get phone calls saying, how is he? I'm getting phone calls now about this live, about what's going mm -hmm. on. What's mm. that about? What's that about? What's this is that about? This. It's always the way. It's always the way. Nobody wants the exposure. Everybody wants to jump up in arms about that and victim blame, you know, when the exposure has come. But if they're quite happy for the status quo to continue, you know? Yeah, people will get a chance to say to have their say and jump on. They can perfectly do that. We're going to put the link out at some point. That's the way we do it. But we hear, hear the testimonies first. Yeah. Um, so, sis, tell me about the time when he broke your jaw. And then I'm going to move forward because I want to talk about uh, his nine year old son that was punched in the face by him as well. And a few other things. Yeah. Okay. Oh, yeah. Um, like I said, this is 23 years ago. Mm -hmm. And when I was expecting my daughter, um, so you were pregnant. I was pregnant with my daughter, mm -hmm. but not to um, minimize. But because it, to me now, it's 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 one of many things. So because this is the norm, mm. um, yeah, he did that. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? He did that, but he's done a million other things as well. So it's but it was like... it was in a certain situation, wasn't it? Leading up to it, like why he did it why yeah what because i was pregnant because no, i was he, pregnant that that was what that, what, is that, that why was, he, he broke that was the explanation was yeah that was the explanation oh because he's your older brother isn't he <laughs> wow and you were how old at the time sis 16. so he thought it was a good idea to break his 16 year old sister's jaw because she'd gotten herself pregnant at 16. We didn't we didn't have a relationship before that. So it's not something like, you know, mm. I am trying to protect you or anything like that. These kind of things were happening before that anyway. <sighs> it, it was just a play on power because my the children's father was outside. So it was him displaying mm. doing, you know, that that's what that was. But that's not normal behaviour to break your little sister's jaw. I've had my nose my nose broken as well. Is I've it? Had, I've had my nose broken as well. By in a in a separate situation. In a separate situation, probably about seven years later, because it was when my daughter was about seven, and um, she was playing with some keys by the fireplace, mm -hmm. and. My daughter's here. I'll let her tell you a part of it. Yeah, I was going to say, I know that she's here as well. Can I say your name, sis, or are we going by a different name or no names at all? Um, hi, I'd prefer to just go by... Um, let's, just, hi. let's just call you Kay, yeah? Yeah. Oh. Okay, so I was about six years old and um, I was playing with a set of keys, a um, set of my mum's keys. Um, obviously, keys make noise. I'm a child and I'm playing with them. And he said pretty much if I keep making that noise then he's gonna kick me in my face obviously my mum stepped in like that's not acceptable he's going to kick the teeth out of your head oh yeah kick me in my teeth kick your teeth out was, of your head that's what he said I was six years, old. six years old yeah and um yeah the next thing I knew um he had my mum cornered and he was in front of her when I next saw my mum. She was covered in blood coming from her nose all down there. And just remember leaving the house. My mum had no shoes on and her feet were covered in blood. Um, wow. Yeah. Mm -hmm. He threatened me with a knife at 14. Um, he's uh, He spat at me. Um, he's... Yeah, he beat up his nine-year-old son just last year. Yeah, and, um, yeah. I, I want to talk about that in a second. Or you guys might want to tell me about that. Yeah, so... Um, um, Gilly told me the story of that yesterday when we spoke. Yeah, he beat up his nine-year-old son last year um, over... I think it was a gesture that he did in a TikTok video. And um, his mum had contacted Dylan... The same um, one that was uh, shouting up her mouth in the background, right? No, I think a different one. A different one, yes. yes yeah. Yes. 
um, had actually contacted Dylan to inform him of this, obviously knowing Dylan because Dylan has been um, to prison for her. That's the only time he's actually been to prison. Of the he's the one that, is, he, is that the one that he's, sorry to cut you, is that the one that he's, the one he's referring to, the one that was in the background on that call with me and him? That's the mother of the son whose face he had gashed last month. Right. But she's yeah. also the one that he beat up with a dumbbell. Is that right? No, he beat the other one up with a dumbbell. He beat her up, ironically, with a set of keys. Oh, he beat her up with a set of keys. Okay, I, I get confused. Go ahead, sis. Oh, hey. And um, so, yeah, the nine-year-old son, he was at my nan's house at the time. I was actually, I, because I barely went there anyway, but I happened to be there on the day. And um, I just remember, I just remember just, just things starting to happen pretty much. And then coming out and seeing that my cousin, because I just went to, I went into a different room. I didn't want to be in any of that because mm. it's just, yeah. Um, but I just recall him being beaten up. I recall there being, I recall him having bruises on his body at the time. I'm not sure if there were pictures, but I know he used an iron to hit him and he'd punch mm -hmm. him, he'd punched him in the face also. Because my older nephew stood in front of him and he couldn't get to him with the mm -hmm. iron. Yeah. So, um, yeah. so he went around him and started to punch him in his face. That That's exactly what Gilly told me yesterday. You were on the call, Gilly, so you know. Um, that's what I was told, people, is that he basically, his baby mother had called him to say that the son had made a TikTok video where he's saying some kind of American rap lyrics or something, and there's something in the lyrics that sounds gay or something like that. So um, this mother knows how the man stays, knows that he's going to react in the way that he does, but yet she sets him on her child anyway. She's in the camp, I do believe. Um, and he goes to his mother's house, his own mother's house, the child's grandmother, where the other children are there, including the sister that we're hearing from now. Just a minute. Sorry, his, his address has always been my mother's house. He's never, had, right. his he's never had his own place. He has eight That's children. He's never had, I think he got his licence last year. So he's never had anything for himself. So. Classic waistline vibes, yeah, yeah. exactly. Um, so anyway, he gets to the house and basically just goes straight up to his nine-year-old son and licks him up with an iron. His older brother, the one that I spoke to yesterday, then puts himself in front of the little brother. Uh, and in order, so he can't get in with the iron at that point. So he goes around his older son and punches the nine-year-old in his face. All yeah. for making a TikTok video where he's probably saying something like you know what they say in rap videos yeah yeah, yeah. Exactly. And the thing is he he generally doesn't really care about what content his children are observing or anything anyway to be reacting that way but, um, <laughs> it's just yeah. unbelievable. But you know the story you know the story that really really got my goat especially was uh, when Gilly explained how he behaved at his award ceremony in year 11. Oh, yeah. Gilly is now 25, is he not? Yeah. yeah. This is Dylan's son, for those of you that have just joined or don't understand what we're talking about. Dylan's son, Dylan Jr., a.k.a. Gilly. And uh, he told us a story yesterday when we were speaking to him that at the age of 16, when he was in year 11, he was uh, up for accommodation. You know, your year 11 leaving ceremony and you're getting all your awards and whatever. And it's a real testament to how different he is from his own father, no doubt, right? That he's even in year 11 doing GCSEs. Definitely. Uh, and, and going to get awards, right? Lovely young man, been speaking to him. Beautiful, lovely, manageable young man. Completely. Um, completely. It broke my heart to know that we have worked so hard in this community to progress young black boys so that they don't take up the gangbang lifestyle. This man is running around asking me to watch his progress in some documentary about, about him uh, ending gang violence or something. Uh, and meanwhile, he's breaking his own son in private. You understand? Mm -hmm. Telling him that he's going to be no good and he's a failure and all of this type of stuff. Because he uh, didn't come out like him. And because, yes, yeah, exactly. He, um, at so the moment, he, he cannot stand his son. From that, Those are the words that he's used. Yeah. Because 
he's not he's he's literally the opposite and anything yeah. that yeah. gilly works a job he's told him you know what's this what was he saying about you know you 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 you're, um you're stupid every like i said it's, it's, it's difficult because when it's like when it comes to my nephews <laughs> it cuts but he's he, like he said he's the trying to break him he's yeah. the support he's the father to those eight children he's the father if anything goes wrong from when they've been at school because of the mother's behaviors and because of his behavior if anything goes wrong they call gilly and this is a 16 year old 18 year old what not going to these schools to speak to the teachers because their behavior <laughs> They're not allowed in the building. Wow. They're not allowed on the premises. Even his baby mamas. Yeah. The the harem that he's breeded of, of ratchet women who are under some sort of, I don't know, what is it? Some sort of Stockholm syndrome? It's something. It's something. It's something. You know? But to, to, to hear a young black boy talk about his day that should have been his day. And the story that he told is that you know, his mother, they got two tickets. The school always give two tickets. Fine. His mother obviously gave the ticket to his father, Dylan Duffus, uh, who said that he would come. Um, they were on their way to, to the event uh, and Dylan cancels at the last minute. I mean, literally the 11th hour while they're on their way to collect him to go to the year 11 leaving ceremony. Imagine. So that's a, that's a letdown alone. And for any baby mother, you're going to get a cuss for that, right? All the, all the brothers in there in, uh, who's got a ones, you let your baby mother down at the last minute because you're supposed to be accompanying her to um, watch your 16-year-old son collect his year 11 accolades. And while you're on your way to pick him up, he rings you to tell you that he's too busy. Are you going to have an argument with him or not? Because I know I would, right? So that's what happens. Apparently, they get to the school. She's had enough. And she says, you know what? I ain't doing this no more, you waste man. I'm going in. I, I can really relate to that. That's something that I would say, all right? Um, they go in. Brother says to me that while they're in the ceremony now, it's all going on, he notices there's some kind of kerfuffle going on at the door. He sees his mum speaking worryingly to his PE teacher or something, and he goes over. He realises um, at that point that his dad is outside. The teacher says to him, your dad's outside creating a fuss. So he tries to go out to the dad, Dylan Duffus, to, you know, control the situation, keep his mum safe, because actually Dylan Duffus is outside the, uh, the, uh, the outside the building trying to get in to attack his mum. This is what he told me. So he goes out to try to defend that. And this is in line with what you're saying, Delia, that he's a protector and he looks after everyone, you know? He goes in to try to defend that and Dylan punches up the little boy. And what do we think happens next? Does he fold? Was he go scuttling away because he's too shame and too injured to go and get his accolade. No, the young boy walks back inside that building with his busted up face and collects his accolade. Shame on you, Dylan Duffus. We ain't claiming you. You're not a black man. You're not from our community. How dare you do that to a young aspiring black king? How dare you, you, you nut job. Absolute nut job. You're a psychopath. That's what you are. And I'm going to put the link out in a minute. And I dare you to come on here and face me. Because well, you he's lied bringing, to me. He's bringing community together, you isn't he? To me. Sorry, <laughs> sis. You <laughs> lied to me on that phone call. You told me that you disciplined your son. And that's the only people you've ever put your hands on. You told me you never put your hands on women, but you've broken your little sister's jaw at 16 just because she got pregnant. Hello. My dad <laughs> has been involved. My dad is disabled. And when he's got up to defend his grandchildren, He's pushed over this disabled man. He has phoned up one of his baby mother's workplaces and threatened to push these disabled people out of their wheelchairs if she doesn't respond to him. While she's at work, speaking to one of her co-workers, telling the co-worker to tell her, this is what I will do if she doesn't pick up the phone while, while she's at work. He's an absolute terrorist. That's what it is. You know, and the way that he likes to uh, depict himself is really quite worrying because uh, the, I'm going to show a video of, um, you know, when the, the sister that was supposed to come on was trying to appeal to him to get him to understand why he's been so destructive in her life. And he thought it was funny to send her this. Said, What the hell is all that about, sis? <laughs> <laughs> huh? In 
these days and times, in these last days, this is how you're going to be depicting yourself. Does he not understand? Demon in it. He's a, he's a demon. Oh, okay. that, well, he's got demon working through him. That's, you know, that's why I, I don't have time. Else for that here as well, very quickly, <laughs> this. this is him um, terrorizing sister. You know, she's trying to get rid of him. Sometimes she has conversations with him because, she, you know, she just wants to get rid of him. And sometimes it's better to be nice. For any woman that's been abused or stalked by a man, you can relate to that, you know? Um, but this is a clip of him terrorizing not only her, but her baby father outside her house. I'm trying to get him out of my house and he wants to come out of your car. So I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. I'm recording. Because I want you out of my house. Dot stink, yeah? Dot stink. Because I want you out of my house. Bye. Not in front of my son. Bye. See the kind of man he is. Come out my house. Come catch you going through my window five o'clock in the morning. The other morning. You should call the police on him. Get out. I'm going to call the cops. And here's another one of um, him, you know, just refusing to leave her house and get out of her bed. So you just think you can be laying in my bed on the phone with your baby mama talking about your pimping. Your pimping. Your pimping. And it's, 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 instead of you saying it ain't like that or saying nothing, you want to act like you somebody. It's pimp. Somebody it's baby. pimp. Yeah, it's pimping. I am somebody, baby. You feel good to be owing a fucking mother that got children to feed fuck. and shit. It's pimping. It's pimping. It's pimping. It's pimping. You can't put it on your conscience to steal from a mother with kids and then lay up in her bed and just act like you ain't got no fucking life. It's pimping. But then one fit is it's a fucking facade. This is what these fucking niggas do. Wow. <laughs> wow. This is the nice guy that he said he was. Uh, and he really doesn't care, does he? he, he doesn't. Doesn't, yeah. Doesn't give a damn. Constantly beating up his children. I'm trying to recall all of the stories that um, I've just speaking to your family alone. I'm not even talking about people in his community, other victims uh -huh. that come forward. I'm not even talking about them. Just you guys alone and listening to um, the, the level of violence that he's put down on this child, on that child. And it seems to be all the women and children in his family. Ooh. It's... Um... He's where got, did it begin and where did it end? Where does it end, should I say? Where does it end? I, like I said, I've, I've given up. I, I'd, I'd love to have been able to fully remove myself, but he has left these eight kids. These eight kids are still there. Mm. Trying. <laughs> when you talk about trying against the odds, I am so proud of my oldest nephew. Mm. 100%. <laughs> when you talk about helping the community, this is a guy who will be in the shop and can't walk past somebody and pay for their shopping. This is the son, the oldest son. This that's the Dylan <laughs> that that should have been. Mm -hmm. And he is his namesake, unfortunately for him. But you know, but God always leaves it with a witness. You know, says he always leaves it in this way. Yeah. And actually, if this brother understood wisdom, if your brother understood wisdom, he would know that it, you know God's making him see a better reflection of himself. Yeah, actually, he should allow that boy to to be that. Is he can't, he can't yeah. tolerate that though, like I said. Yeah. The respect has gone to him in any given situation, even myself. <laughs> That's who I go to now. Do you know what I mean? He, they're, they're my nephews. My, I've got uh, the, three old, the three older ones, really. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. The, the others are the same age as my son, so it's a different sort of relationship. But he, um, And he would have liked it to go the other way. It's like now he would have liked, I, I believe that he would have liked for for the the oldest to be like him. Um, because again, it would allow for him to control the situations more. Mm -hmm. But he's but the oldest is allowing for the younger ones to see differently mm -hmm. and experience different things. Mm -hmm. but it's it's not going the way that it's <laughs> that it was that it was planned. And he's triggered, he's triggered by it. And I know um, when we spoke, you said you can't comment on the drugging situation, but you can definitely verify him beating women yeah, outside of your family. It's, it's normal. It's normal. But like, as you can hear, with these baby mums or bulldogs, <laughs> as you called them, 
that's that's what's happened the manipulation but <clears throat> for me as long as and when you can allow somebody to do that to your child mm. you, you can kind of see what i'm doing what, what you're dealing with yeah because absolutely you're still with him you're still defending him this is after the fact not long after the fact really this to the point the fact, where um, what you know, their children are not even speaking to them because right. i know that Gilly said he doesn't speak to his mom oh Gilly does it well yeah it's a it's a different situation but like i said he, he yeah he does it he doesn't speak to his mum. As I, I can't. Like I said, there's some things that I can't go into. Yeah. But she's also a victim. She had. Mm -hmm. She was a victim. Like Gilly's twenty five. Mm -hmm. So it come. It does come to a point sometimes where you've allowed for this to happen, and the minute that Gilly sort of matured and could see through that, he couldn't stand for it anymore. And to be honest, I'm glad for that because he will stand in the middle. And where would it be now? I think it's mm -hmm. about seven years. And it's a shame that he hasn't spoken to his mum. But at the end of the day, had he been there, <laughs> standing in the middle, what would have happened? Because mm. he's going to defend. That's his nature. That's his character. Of course. I mean, this guy is a psychopath, an absolute psychopath. You know, when you, uh, he told another time as well, he said, I think he said that day, um, uh, giving his, is, is that he yeah. actually offers, he offered his dad out. He offered him outside. Because, oh yeah, um, and yeah. Like, he's bigger than this his is the thing. I, I've never, I'm, 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 I'm younger than, 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 than Dylan, but I've never seen him fight a man. Never, <laughs> I've never seen him fight a man. Well, Gilly is wit is now twice the size of him. There's three, in fact, there's five. There's five of them older boys. Like I said, all the boys that are accountable that are old enough don't deal with him. If things turn on its on their head, and this is not threats or whatnot, they're going to defend each other. He's mm -hmm. reluctant to step into that situation now because they, they're not children anymore. Exactly, like, you can't just punch them in the face and hit them with irons anymore. He said that when he said when he offered him out for hitting his little brother like that, you know, he he went outside, but that his gran had a baseball bat by the door, and he drew yeah. for the baseball bat, and he was yeah. laughing. Saying, why don't you fight like a man? You know, you know, shame. your own son mm -hmm. he's bigger than you now, he's not taking your abuse anymore, he's offered you out, and you draw for a baseball bat you can't beat him with your own mm -hmm. You're a coward, an absolute coward. And your baby mothers have got Stockholm syndrome, they need to get therapy and get some help. Yeah, uh, and they need to yeah. protect their children. And for the sake, for this, that's what I'm going to say, for the sake of, of the children who are Absolutely. some of them aren't even children anymore. Do you know what I mean? You can imagine that this is their whole life. This has been their whole life, 25 year olds. And this is why I'm so proud of my nephew because you can, this, this is nothing new to us. This isn't new. <laughs> this is the norm. Do you know what I mean? It's like, I, this is why I'm speaking now because thank you. Do you know what I mean? Thank you. Because I don't really trust the authorities or whatnot. <laughs> To me, something's dodgy. How has he got away with this much already? How has he got away with this much? So anyone who wants to deal with him or think that, because talk about gra grassing people, <laughs> something's happening. Yeah. Something's well, happening. I've been told stories of him, you know, his tag yeah. box never beeping and him just doing what he likes when he's on tag. I can't verify that, but I've been told that. And um, there's a lot of conjecture, isn't there, around his status as a person in the community that, that may be able to get off with things for whatever reason. Extremely odd. Do you know mm -hmm. what I mean? He was on, he was on um, remand for that situation. Um, some people are saying, I reckon he may be, have been, been abused by his dad, Buell St. Mary. Um, by all accounts, I did ask you about that, didn't I, sis? But that isn't the case at all. You see, my dad, when he was well, he was a community activist. He was mm -hmm. making, unfortunately, my dad had a brain hemorrhage. And that was back in 97, 96, 97. So Dylan would be in, in his mid-teens, sort of, well, yeah, mid-teens at the time. So I'd, I'd say my dad spoiled him. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I'd say he spoiled him. But abuse. That's not, like I said, you grew up in church. There's no excuse for it. Not mm -hmm. to say church saves people, but this isn't how we grew. We weren't grown like that. Mm -hmm. I, didn't, I grew up in the house. With my mum, <laughs> you were looked after. If anything, you had everything. Ask people that you grew up with. Who had the first? Who was the first person to have Nintendo? This, that, the other trainers, whatnot. You, you, it's, a, it's a lie. It's, mm -hmm. it's a lie. 
not to say that everything was, you know what I mean? Things go wrong, families are families, but at the end of the day, there's no excuse for this. I just think it's so, it's so telling. Um, it's so telling the way that he tried to do the, you know, drop the manipulation in on the second phone call, you know, and I could just get, an, I really got an insight into how he deals with women. Yeah, the switch you know, it's like my love every minute. It was like, um, what else was he saying? He was appealing to my better nature as an activist, as a black woman. He was trying every trick. I mean, obviously he doesn't know me, but I could see where he was pulling down the little that he did know. You got to remember trying acting, to love from me, acting, if you like, you know? The acting, but it's not it's, it's not that great, is it? We've well, it certainly wasn't working. I was just analysing the whole thing the whole time and thinking, OK. Yeah, well, that's... I can see how you think you get around women most of the time, but this one is not working, not today. And this is the thing, he's talking about lionesses, they're vulnerable. These women are, who allows for that? <laughs> who, yeah, allows? Who, who celebrates the fact that your baby mothers like to go around beating people up all the bloody time and behaving in, in some kind of irate way? He seems very proud of that fact when he speaks, you know? You should be a man and be actually getting them to elevate themselves. If they're damaged enough to behave in that way, they need a good man in their life that is going to calm them down and, and you know teach them how to be ladies, not someone who's going to reveal their ratchetness. <laughs> I don't know how else to put it, sis. Okay, you know, so what, what is this? What is all of this? Someone told me to suck my marge in the comments. Suck my marge. I'm, 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 I'm <laughs> I said, hey, what kind of people are we dealing with here? Yeah. And this man is in his 40s? He's got friends who would tell me to suck my march. What is this? It's you know? not. It's not really. It's not really friends. I think it's more minions and people that have. Well, yeah. You know, yeah. It, it's literally it's grooming. Even with some of these these men, it's grooming. <laughs> it's like he's an actor or mm -hmm. narcissist. So at the end of the day, it's it's he feeds on it, and over time, over time. <laughs> Because of the different characters, the different characters he puts on and whatnot, but acting's not that great. His time's up. I don't understand. Well, I struggle to understand how he can't see through it, but mm -hmm. people, people clearly can't. People I'm going to put the link out now, and that's yeah. why I'm. Because at the end of the day, I'm his sister. We have the same mother, the same father. Grew up in the mm -hmm. same. I'm telling you, <laughs> I'm telling you. Like I said, I can't speak on the situation. But mm -hmm. it's just a new low. It's just a new low. It is. And he absolutely doesn't give a toss. <laughs> he really doesn't. He's very convincing in that. Maybe he does deep down. I don't know. But um, he's very convincing in making people believe that I don't care what I do. I don't care who I hurt. But I don't why care what would I do. you? Not, I don't care you how you feel. It's when just. You have been, when you haven't bore, bore consequences, and then you have the support <laughs> of people, you know, when you have this, why would you feel that way? Yeah, because everybody, tell me about, um, you, there was this thing he was saying that uh, about the police set him up or somebody set him up, not the police. Um, and he went to the police about it when he had. Uh, yeah, but I think that was. That he, was he had something where he was wanted or something, right? Yeah. That was the situation with the um the nine year old. So I think he hid for a couple of days. So they were looking for him. Uh, so people thought that was um something to do with a woman. There it is. We've got he it there. The so people thought that's when he was wanted in uh 2020. It went up on 8th of December 2020 or the 9th of December. It says the 39 year old from Hansworth, Birmingham, is wanted for multiple domestic assaults between April and November this year. You see, when it says domestic assaults, people automatically assume that it's it's between man and woman, right? <laughs> yeah. They automatically assume that actually, yeah. But where, I think where, they, they meant all of it, didn't they? <laughs> sorry, I thought where, where's the line drawn? How many allegations? <laughs> is that normal? It, it's not really that normal. Allegation upon allegation upon allegation. And it's just supposed to be allegations. There's something true in there. Yeah. Yeah. There are all these allegations, but yeah, he's such a nice guy and everybody loves him and everyone's going to defend him. He's got a few minions defending him who don't know nothing at the end of the day. All they see is the nice guy that he puts out there, the nice guy that he tried to come back with on the second phone call, the nice guy. But we're seeing a lot of, you know, a bit, a very different picture. Very different picture. Out of order. He's a cold calculated narcissistic individual 
I'm going to play one more. Have you ever, have you ever seen, imagine that, okay, he's done these films or whatnot. Would his mum not be proud and stood with him to say, yeah, this is my son, whether or not, you know, he, there's music and stuff like that. Sometimes we don't want to promote it, but yeah, it's still my son. That doesn't has happen. She, there's no she, pride. Has that not happened? Really. Sorry? No. Has she, that not happened? No. Like, she, she's, she enables him, but she doesn't support, she doesn't support the behaviour. Mm. No, she's not in support of it. She's mm-hmm. just probably, uh, you know, I've come to the conclusion that she is probably also scared at this point. It's got to be. Well, why do you say that, Delia? Why do you think she's scared? He's forty-five, still there. She's still allowing this. She's seen her grandchildren go through this, <laughs> and you know, I'm not. I'm not saying that it's for her to now pick up her belt and lick him or something. I'm not saying that. But what you can do is say, no, not in my house. This is directed the way that my my son has to bear the brunt of this because I'm not having it. Mm-hmm. I'm not having it. Not to say, you know what I mean. I'm not abusive, but he knows. And and like kids are different anyway. But because of growing up and experiencing this and whatnot, I can't allow for um for certain things to go on. Mm-hmm. The way he speaks to my mother, it's those sort of things where I can't be around it. <laughs> I can't. Yeah, for me, it's just, um, I feel like this whole situation just says a lot about a lot of different things and a lot of different things within our community. Because I feel like the level of clout chasing (laughs) and, I don't know, willingness to just be up someone's bum just because of their image, despite the Mm -hmm. fact that it's not even an A-list or anything like that, but people in this community are so desperate for a sense of status, a sense of being somebody that they're gonna try and get behind someone like this. Mm-hmm. It's very sorry. It's very, it's just it's sorry. It's it's just, it's horrible. Mm-hmm. It's sad. It's just sad. But in a way, that's why I'm glad because he has forced me to leave that environment. He's forced all of us to leave that environment. None of us mm. are with that stuff anymore. We're not in that anymore. But mm. it's 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 disgusting, especially from big people that mm. have their own children. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. And that, you know, the, the Bible says out of the mouth of babe and sucklings shall come forth wisdom. And there it is. Because how old are you, my love? You are? 22. 22 years old, right there. You know, such wisdom from one so young. Big people with children, and they're there talking what they don't know, threatening people, carrying on, defending somebody that has terrorised his entire family, trying to make out he's a good guy. I mean, what the hell is this? Our, our community needs to fix up. Because you see a guy and you par with him, yeah, and he's a good time guy and a life and soul of the party or whatever it is that you have out there with him. Don't talk what you don't know, because when things go on behind closed doors, it's a whole nother story altogether, yeah? This man is a violent man that has done more than beat beat women, you know? More than that. You beat up your baby mother with a dumbbell. I don't care what she's done. A dumbbell. And, and in, in her mind, and in the minds of the people around you that know about this stuff and uphold it, it's normal. That's how damaged we are as a community. I'm going to put the, you know what, before I put the link out, actually, I'm going to play one more thing from the sister that couldn't come on. Um, Then I'm going to play a clip from this One Mile documentary, uh, and then we're going to chop it up some more. Is that okay with you guys, yeah? Mm -hmm. All right, let me just play this. So I'm going to tell you this now, Dylan. I'm going to tell you this now because I just got off the phone and I know Joella want to have this conversation with me, but I'm going to tell you it now even though I think I should, she should said I should wait and just have this conversation while she's around you. But I'm going to tell you straight up. I did tell Joella you drugged me. Yeah. I did say you put drugs in my drink. Like, I, I didn't even want to say it. She's like, well, if you're not going to say what it is, then well, don't mention it. And I said, this, I said, that, I said, that so, and that's the reason I don't want to get back with you. But that's what I'm saying. But that, now you want to know why I don't. Let me show you something. You be. I thought you'd be better than that. What the fuck am I supposed to give a fuck about you other things about that? Do you want to do the business and get cool enough to get wild with all this girl from nowhere? I'm always not, I'm always not just using it. I'm not going to say that. 
supposed to feel your feelings. Well, it don't even matter if you be in your feelings or not. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's it's a fucked up situation. And Shalina knows. I don't do it. I don't know. knows. But Dylan, but Dylan, it, it's about accountability. I, I, it's about accountability, Dylan. Dylan, it's accountability, Dylan. Do you think you did me wrong? Do you think you did me wrong by doing that? Like accountability. I'm not trying to make you look horrible. Listen, this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm not trying to make you look horrible. I want to help you. I want to help you. Don't you want help? could go on and on and on but here again you hear her uh accusing him of drugging her and him saying pretty much yeah i did what a little splash i don't care i don't care what you think and uh, he says actually there as well self-confess i'm known for the most terribly or most violating stuff you can imagine so what who we did i mean this man is a monster in my opinion delia he's a monster yeah but he's extremely small you know <laughs> he's think, a very small monster that's yeah, so that's true what, that's all right let me just um let me just sorry very quickly because i want to move on um i'm going to show a clip from this video if i can share my screen let me try I don't go nowhere else because I don't feel safe, mate. Mm. Yeah, the picnic are bigger than my shoes and the picnic are running up and on a true brick from police. I wanted to hear what the elders' thoughts was on the state of our community. Unfortunately, unfortunately, we've got a generation lost. And this a generation of black lads. It's a generation of youth that is lost. They are completely lost to us, mate. And there's nothing we can do to get through to them. Yeah. Catch the damn picnic, take off your belt, swipe him two times and send him home to mama. Excuse me. If people think that, that is bad and that is abusive, sod the latter, yeah. Sod your ass is bad, abusive. I put life into my kids. The government, the law, I would have backside them in front of the queen. They can't tell me me can't do it. I will do it in front of the queen. If they want to lock me up after, that's fine. But you know something? None of my kids got involved in the riots no. because of what I've drummed into them. Yesterday we sat down to some big men speak and they think it needs to be resolved with a beating. Look at a big suit. Now stand next to me, please, so they can solve, so you can see this on the road. You can't beat these youths because they'll probably beat you. <laughs> Do you understand? It is there's, There has to be other measures and other ways to go right. I'm not saying that they don't need discipline, you know, but I'm talking there's levels to beating them because you can get a slap or somebody can find you to this in the house and stop. Stop! I'm beat you to a pulp. You understand it? There's levels to it. A little slap, shh, discipline, like picking up stuff and chairs. And I've seen people get beaten, like serious beatdowns. Like, you have to know what we're doing, man. It says there's a lot, there's a lot to it. Like, the more I've analyzed this thing, 
we got a whole lot of problems within ourselves and we want to blame the whole world man this is what i want to fight i've got this slight feeling that kids that have been beat are slightly more violent i have that feeling i'm not 100 so you can't quote me on that but i've got feeling that the kids who are beaten are slightly more violent and in my community and where i come from beating is normal what's happened to you yeah like see the other day like tuesday and that i was nearby town and that and then like some police see me and the chase after me so i started You believe, can you believe the double standard? <laughs> yeah? Did I, did I just hear that right, Delia? I think you're it's, it's, it's slime and it. it's just narcissistic behaviour. Wow. He will tell you, he will tell you what he thinks he wants you, you know, do you know what I mean? What he thinks you want to hear. That's wow. the character. That's the, the, <laughs> that's Dylan. He will tell you what he thinks you, you want to hear. Complete and utter beyond sick, Hurricane Toya. Beyond sick, he doesn't even he talk like that. <laughs> that. Children who are beaten are more violent. Well, what did you try to do to yours? But it didn't work. That's the thing. Unbelievable, just unbelievable. I'm going to put the link out. I want to know who's going to come in and defend this stuff. <laughs> yeah, let's have a look. I'm going to put the link out, people. There it is. Copy and paste that into your browser and you'll be able to get onto the live and say your piece. I'd love to hear from the people that have been running up their mouths in the Instagram comments, especially. Um, I'd love to hear from, I don't know her name, the young lady, but the baby mother that was in the background. I'd love to hear from Dylan himself. Uh, and I'd love to hear from anyone else who's been in the comments making aspersions at this stage. I'd like to know what people are, are, are actually saying, but we can have a chit chat until then. Uh, yeah, if Dylan's in the chats, come on, Dylan. I want to talk to you, brother. Break it down for us, you know. Break it down. Are you okay with that, sis? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. We're good to go. Absolutely. Mm -hmm. Let's see what happens. Okay, there's somebody called TT who's jumped on. TT, we only his time is up live. How are you? TT? you one of them ones that your, your camera's off. Don't worry. <laughs> this is what happens, you know? Yeah, come up, Magic Handsworth, please. I did ask you to come on the live. I did ask you to. You know, let's see what you've got to say. Maybe you can explain to me why um, telling an auntie like myself, of 54 years old, I don't know how old you are, but you're clearly not my age, why it's okay to suck my Marge. Tell me why you think that that is an effective form of communication. Jump on. This is a bit, sis, where we usually get radio silence. I got a lot to say in the comments, but they won't come on and face us. It's madness. Happens every time. <laughs> Unbelievable. But let's see. Let's see how it progresses. Um, I'm just very struck by how this person can live such a double life. I mean, it's it's almost past narcissism. It feels like multiple personality disorder to me. Okay, uh, Magic is jumping on. I'm Hello, Magic. Struck. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Do you want to explain to me why telling me to suck my Marge is um, necessary? Well, well, I seen you posting up shit about my bedroom, innit? So that just says what I says. Okay, how old are you, by the way? 40, 41. 41? Yep. Really? Yep. So you're almost reaching middle age. Yep. And you thought it was a good idea to blindly um, defend your brethren and to do it in that way. It's not a good idea, brother, man. That's not the way to communicate. That's not how we do things here. And we're grown-ass people. I thought you were a bit younger, actually. Okay. Um, there's lots of rumours going around about you in your community, but I don't really want to get into that. I was only making the point that that's what I've been told. I can't verify anything. They're just rumours. We deal with evidence, and they are just rumours. I made that very clear. Um, but anyway, why are you here? What what, what do you want to say in this defence, or are you still defending after hearing it? You called out my name. You just said to be coming to the chats, and, and I'm too afraid to say something, so I'm here. 
Okay, so, okay. <laughs> okay, so what do you have to say? Well, I've watched the video, so but what exactly is going on? You're saying that he's supposed to have drugged this woman that's on the phone. Is that what you're saying? So you want to talk about that part, but not the other part? I want to talk about what he... Basically, I'm here because I've seen something going about saying that he's drugging women and sexually assaulting them. That's what's been uh, going on. No, 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 no. Right? If, you look at, if you look at my post very clearly, it yeah. says nothing about sexual assault. That's urban myth. Get that out of your head. So at no point that, have you heard so, us say sexual assault. No, at no right, point have you seen that appear in writing. All right, then, my bad. Do you know what? I'm going Sorry? Mm. Interesting. <laughs> Are you still there, Magic? I think he said he's going. Oh, did he? Oh, he's still no, here. I'm still here. Yeah. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. I was, Sorry, what, what I, did you say, brother? I was. I, I didn't realise it cuts off when I flicked the screen. I'm going to look on exactly what your post says. I'll read it quickly. Give me, like, 30 seconds, yeah? I'm okay. Oh, cool. I'll do the same, even though I know what I wrote. Yeah, uh, um, that he drugs women, then beats them up, yeah? Mercilessly, is what I said. Yeah, so yeah. he's basically saying that he's going around drugging women and then beating them up. Like, like so where's this evidence? You're saying you haven't shown any evidence of him drugging someone and beating them up. Well, how is anyone going to get evidence of that if those things are done in private, number one? Did you hear him admitting to that or even denying it, actually? Did you hear anything within that conversation? I heard him saying he doesn't know what he's denying. And the reason no, why... No, 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 not the, not the conversation between me and him. The other things that I have played tonight of him having a conversation with the victim. To me, it sounded like he does a lot of what he likes to do. He sounded like he was talking to people in the background and just had her on air and we're just saying, what are we talking about now? That's what it sounded like. I think, you're getting, mixed like up. Was... I think you're getting mixed up here. I've played several tapes tonight. I've explained what they are. Maybe if you watch it back, you'll catch it. Okay, I watched but, everything. But, but listen, there's two conversations between me and him. Yeah? Yeah. Put that one side. I'm talking about the other ones with the person who's got an accent, that girl. That's not me. Yeah, that's that's what I was referring to. Okay. And what did that's you it. get from that? I was a bit confused by the whole conversation because I'm not sure whether he's talking to her sometimes, whether he's talking to someone else in the background. Like a it's, lot of it's, the it's both of them. Like, Just to get it clear for you, yeah? He's talking to her. They are having a conversation on the telephone. Yeah. Okay. She's taped it. So there's nobody else. You might hear some background noise, but he's only talking to her. That's what you're hearing. Yeah. Do you want me to play it again for you? Yeah, play. Not all of it. <laughs> yeah, play. Play the part that you're talking about. You see, have you really been like paying attention? Yes. So I'm not sure why you're confused. Is anyone else confused? I, I thought I made it clear. I'm not confused. I just like to be clear on exactly what I'm answering. That's what it is. Okay, all right, cool. All right, cool. Let's do that then. All right. So the first one that I'm going to play, and I'm not going to play all of it, because it's quite long, isn't it? Uh, mm -hmm. Is when she's asking him about the drugging. You know, why did you do that? And, all you know, I don't think that you hate me. I think it's because of this. Uh, and he says it's because I just turned you up. Okay? Okay. Okay. All right, hold on. I'm just trying to get to it. Right, here we go. I just got into the realisation that I will not be getting certain things and put myself in the situations that are not good for me. That's it. That's barely saying that. Don't, don't try and blame me that. That makes more sense. So to try to find some angles to accept it, yeah. And just keep up here. And yeah, I just don't want to be putting myself in situations that are not good for me in many different ways. You get what I'm saying? That's cool. What did you think that? But I got love for you. I listen. I want you to heal. And I want you to be better. And I don't want you sipping no drugs and nobody drinks. For no party time. Because listen, I don't think you do it. Like, you don't, I don't, I don't think you do it because you hate me. 
I said I had to defend. Are you even, even so I'm defending you? It's a turn up. It's a turn up, exactly. He wants to turn all the way, crank it all the way up. Without, without my knowledge of being it, he wants me to turn up. Why are you being funky? Turn it up today. That's not good. It's not good. It's not good. It's not good without my consent. It's not a turn up. It's traumatizing. Because I trust you. So you got camera back the cops, you can close them, open them, so you can't want to sleep things. Can you change? So, promo. Yeah. Do I need to play more magic? Well, well. Uh, uh, sorry, Claire, 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 can you come off and connect your device because it's not letting you on? Yeah, sorry, magic, go ahead. Yeah, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm just confused for what's, what's going on there because. She says, I don't want you to drop any drugs in somebody's drink or do anything like that. And then she starts going into the next conversation and then like, but it doesn't sound like. He basically says, mm -hmm. yeah. Um, so what, I can't open the camo bottle and, and flick a little something in there. Like he's, he's laughing about it to her, yeah. And she's saying, but not without my consent. No, you can't do that. That's what she's actually saying. Let me make it clearer, actually, because this one's even clearer. And that's why I'm, I'm a little bit confused. Maybe you need to just rehear it. One second. So I'm going to tell you this now, Dylan. I'm going to tell you this now because I just got off the phone and I know Joella want to have this conversation with me, but I'm going to tell you it now, even though I should think I should, she should, said I should wait and just have this conversation while she's around you. But I'm going to tell you straight up. I didn't tell Joella you drugged me. I did say you put drugs in my drink. Like, I, I didn't even want to say it. She's like, well, if you're not going to say what it is, then don't mention it. And I said this, I said, I said... And that's the reason I don't want to get back with you. But that's what I'm saying. But that, no, you want to know why I don't. Let me show you something about me. I thought you'd bring your dad in that house. What the fuck am I supposed to do? What do you want to think about that? She would have my nigga with two business and get one to get one with all this girl from nowhere. I'm always not, I'm always not just using it. I'm not supposed to be in my feelings. Well, it don't even matter if you be in your feelings or not. I'm just saying, I'm just saying, it's it's a fucked up situation. And Shalina knows. And Deere knows. But Dylan, but Dylan, it, it's about accountability. I, I, it's about accountability, Dylan. Dylan, it's accountability, Dylan. Do you think you did me wrong? Do you think you did me wrong by doing that? Like accountability? I'm not trying to make you look horrible. Listen, this is the thing. This is the thing. I'm not trying to make you look horrible. I want to help you. I don't listen to I'm just showing you. I don't know why you told me that book because I don't give a fuck. But I want to help you. Don't you want to help? I'm saying, what am I supposed to say? They don't do nothing. What the fuck does she mean? They come to the events at the bar. I don't know this woman. Right, so Dave, does that sound magic? I'm going to let somebody call Anonymous on. Just don't talk for a second, Anonymous. I'll let you on in a minute. Uh, does that sound magic, like someone who's protesting their innocence to you? It just sounds confusing to me. I can't, I'm just okay. too confusing. You can, you can <laughs> hear, like, it's clear what she's saying that he's meant to have done, but his response is, like... I can't exactly hear what he's saying. It's sounded like I don't I don't know what I don't know this woman. Like I heard them say something like that, but it's not. He said clear. he doesn't like, care about who she told. No one else. Yeah, seems and to the thing is this is like I know. Are you sure guy, you don't like, want to hear it? I can upload not, that one actually. I can upload that one for you to hear it better. I'm just yeah. playing it from my phone. Maybe I should upload that one. I'll do that at some point and then you can listen to it because it seems to me that you're kind of trying to not hear it. That's what it feels like, Magic. It's better you just say you just want to back your bridging? Yeah. <laughs> really? Sorry to butt in and all of that. It's all right, Anonymous. That's fine. Blessed. Welcome you know to I mean? his time is up. At the end of the day, Magic, it's better you to say, you know what, it's my bridging at the end of the day and I'm going to back him. Don't come in here and, you know, Try and make it out like you're hearing or you can't hear this. You, you just said you've been in the chat for the whole of the last two and a half hours. Yeah, but, 
No, I hear what I hear what you're saying. What I'm trying to explain is that I can hear what she's accusing him of, but I can't make out what he's saying back. Do you get what I'm saying? And like for me to answer a question clearly when somebody says, What do I think of that? I need to fully understand what's going on. You get me? Well, anonymous, can you hear what he's saying back? I think everyone in here can hear what he's saying. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> I can hear some of what he's saying back, but I can't hear all of it. I heard something like him saying, I don't know this woman, what am I supposed to do? Like I think maybe maybe then you should leave the chat and go back in yeah, and what we watch it. Is that and, um, time magic, unfortunately. Yeah, uh, I don't think you're really gonna offer anything to the conversation if you can't hear. But you came up to try and defend something. I don't know. What was it? No, you're mis. I didn't say I can't hear what's going on. I says I can't make out all of what he's saying. All right, let me just hear from Anonymous. You can stay. I'll mute you up. Say nothing. If you've got anything to add, then we can unmute you at this point, okay? I'm not going to kick you out. You've been quite respectful so far. You haven't told me to suck my march. I would advise you, Magic, not to go around saying that to people. It's not a good idea, is it? And it's not very, it's not very polite. It's not still. <laughs> Anonymous, blessed brother. I can hear you from Birmingham. Talk to yes, me. yes. I'm um, I'm a family member, but I'm going to obviously remain. Okay. okay I weren't really going to speak out, but, you know, a lot of things I've heard, I didn't know myself as well. So a lot of it was new to me. Do you know what I mean? So it's mm -hmm. prompted me to obviously jump on here and whatnot. Um. I mean, you've covered a lot of it, but I think the main thing for me, obviously, I've got little sisters and whatnot, so I take it personally as well, hearing all of this and doing this to women and him not caring. It just baffles me because as bad as he is to us, he's not hes not like this. Like, he's hes a victim. He gets bullied wherever he goes. <laughs> he's not bad. Like, he's not hes not bad. Do you know what I mean? He's Which not a what, bad man. He's not bad. This, this, me, is yeah. what, this is what baffles me. you got people that are out here that do actual real things to him live direct in front of people on camera off camera and it's like you've got you've got no reaction but a, something like a small gesture your nine-year-old son that you that you created you've got such aggression and such anger i don't understand where it comes from mm. do you get what i'm saying yeah 100%. obviously the rest of them will, will, will kind of know do you know what i mean it's just i mean uh, me personally i don't think there's anything wrong with him i know you can label it as multiple personality disorder or what i just i don't think it's anything like that i think i think you know excuse my language he knows within himself that he's he, he's a pussy excuse my language no it's so fine I, I feel like because of that he goes around he does what he does within his inner circle to try and make himself feel better about himself mm. like, he, like he is a big man like he mm. can do this and he can do that i personally haven't spoken to him for f over three years just simply because at the end of the, you know, I'm I'm 23 years old as well. I'm on the phone to him. You know what I mean? You've got me at 2 p.m. sweating, wanting to get in my car and come and do something to you. We're both grown men. Do you know what I mean? At the end of the day, that's kind of all he does with his days. He just sits on the phone and argues with different people. And as you can hear on the phone when you're, uh, you're talking to him, it's not really a conversation ever, is it? So, no. He seems like a man. I don't know. He just seems like a man that's just, I don't think he knows himself. Yeah, that's what I was gonna say. Sorry, he 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 does that. His days are spent like this. This that conversation with you is is the norm for him, <laughs> and with mm -hmm. the baby moms and whatnot. That's yeah. what he, that's what he thrives on, you know. So sorry, go going back to hundred percent the baby mom thing. That's that's a control thing. Like, don't get me wrong. There's a lot of blame in there on their parts, but at the same time, it's their victims as well. Mm. But they clearly don't see it because of their condition with him, yeah. Yeah, they don't know it. Mm. But there's a lot of things that they do know and they do see and they don't speak up on because it's easier not to. Do you know what I mean? It's easier to turn a blind eye. It's easier to just let him shout his mouth off or let him do this. Well, I think, I think after 21 years, that's become part of their life as well. They kind yeah. of thrive on that back and forth with each other and whatever their polygamous relationship or whatever, this is what they're living for now as well. And, and they would have to face started. they would have to face what the victims face as we saw in the video, him trying to climb in their windows at five o'clock in the morning, constantly harassing them. You know, not everyone's strong enough to like she was to stand up to that. Oh yeah, that, it, it's happened with all of them anyway. <laughs> you know what I mean? It just it's, it's just a season at the moment where they're cool, but it, it's the norm. They they go through it all. They they they've had worse com confrontations with him than 
than that. Do you know what I mean? So that's why to me, it's not really surprising. I've seen a lot worse. I've, well, yeah, heaven, I'm heaven out. points heaven. out. Blessed love, sister heaven. Heaven points out. Um, it's called narcissistic fuel. They thrive off of conflict. Any attention is good for them, even if it's bad. That's right. Mm -hmm. He's the first one to say. Even this, to to be to some extent, he'll get something out of this. Any mm. attention. Any, is, is any, any publicity is good publicity. That's one of the things that I've seen him stand in the mirror and say to himself, do you know what I mean, yeah. when, when yeah. things are hitting the fan. He's, yeah, that's, he's, that's he's very not, characteristic yeah. of personalities like him. They'll, they'll, they'll stand and go on like they're against it and whatever, but quietly they like it, really, because it's the discipline that is on them. A lot, of the, a lot of the things he says, the main thing for me is just he, everything he does is for Instagram. Do you know what I mean? We, we, we'll mm. go out for a meal as a family without him, obviously, because no one talks to him. And the first thing you'll say, you know, as a, as a parent, even if you're trying to do better, as I heard him say on the phone to you, you might mm -hmm. say, oh, let me, here's some money. I know you're taking out all eight of the kids or have a good time or anything that a parent would say. But no, the first thing he will say is make sure you get a picture. <laughs> so the reason he wants a picture is because then he can pull it on his Instagram. And then when he puts it on his Instagram, he looks like obviously actor, famous dad of eight that, do you know what I mean? As, and you wasn't even there. As you've heard. Uh, you're, you're one of his sons, aren't you? Yeah, yeah. I mean, so it's just the whole, the whole picture, like the whole image, everything that he does. That's the only thing that it's just it's the way he fakes it. Do you know what I mean? And obviously, outside looking in, it's gonna look great. By the end of the day, and it runs a lot deeper than that. Even just down to, you know, my older brother sitting down and and watching him tell my younger brothers to argue with police to do things that will get you arrested because what? it's a red like it's just it's you know when it boils down to things that's gonna directly affect their life more than the physical and mental traumas they're already going through. Mm -hmm. It's out of order, do you know what I mean? Like it's, it gets a lot deeper than that. People shouldn't be allowed to, it's not, it's control, but you're also navigating someone's life and they're only going to look up to you as their dad. Absolutely. So he he, he actively tells his children or his sons to argue. I think there, there, there'd been one, there'd been one, like one situation that happened. My brother could probably would have told you better, but. From what I picked up from it, there'd been a situation, they'd been uh, approached by police over the situation. And naturally, you know, you're not gonna, you're not gonna win with the police. It's, that's what the system is. We all know what the system is. Sometimes mm. you just have to pick your battles and, you know, I mean, I'm gonna go home a free man at the end of the day, but he will go out of his way to tell them that, no, you should have done this. You should have said this. And all of the information he's given them would have definitely got them arrested. And then what happens when they got a criminal record and they can't get this job and they can't do that? They're yeah, gonna be yeah. they're gonna be another Dylan Duffers. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> me, 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 it's ridiculous. It's just ridiculous. Me and my brother, you know, we both live similar lifestyles. Both live on our own. Him with his missus, whatnot. Pay bills. You know what I mean? If you flip it to him, he'll tell you, "Don't pay bills." Yeah. Why yeah. would you pay bills? Why would you want to live when you can stay here or you can do this? And wow, he, he's just trying to teach you the, the wrong spirit. My goodness. His living oh, situation is the way that it is because he's waiting for my parents to die so that he could have the house. <laughs> That's his words. He to his live words. That way. Those are his words. Complete waste, man. But as a man as well, like I feel like the truth, you know, like you get a lot of these fake people, activists, whatever you want to label them, it's, it's, you're meant to be going, in, if you're going to go into a school, if you're going to go into a community centre, anything like that, it's meant to be, well, this is how I am. I've recognised how I am. I'm here to tell you how not to be. Because I've lived it, because I know what it's like, yes. because I know, do you know what I'm trying to say? Not, I'm going to walk in this room and be somebody that I am not and tell Absolutely. you, and I'm part of the information. You're not even, you're not even physically capable of giving because you don't actually, you ain't even recognised it yourself. Isn't hmm. he banned from speaking at schools and things? Where is he not banned from? <laughs> do you know what I mean? Where's he not banned from? But no, I just wanted to keep it short. Like the cat from a character, from a character point of view, um, externally, everyone looking in, it's, mm -hmm. it's all a lie. And I know that sounds like a broad statement, but it's literally all a lie. Every single it's post, everything, all a lie. big business plans, this, that, and the other, money, cars, whatever it is, it's all a lie. Every single thing. Yeah, this is what I've been told. You're not saying to anything that hasn't been verified through other people who know and are close to him that have told me exactly the same thing. Yeah. You know? It's uh, annoying, annoying, man. And I'm sick of hearing about it from X, Y, and Z. Do you know I mean, yeah. luckily for me, I'm I'm probably the only son, I think, that was not 
born in the area or not grew up in the area. So lucky for you. I'm not as connected to him, you know, outside people probably don't know as much as the rest of them that I'm his son, but just hearing it enough is enough. So I can only imagine how bad it is for everybody else, but yeah. You know. Just just hold it, hold it there one moment. Don't go anywhere anonymous. Magic, what are you saying? Uh, before I kick you off, because I am going to kick you off in a minute, uh, but but what are you saying, Magic? What are you saying? Is this the brethren that you're defending and telling people to suck their mothers over? Oh, I'm gone. <laughs> you can't even time, take. You can't even take brethren. anything that he's obviously he being coached. And, and also, why would he? Why isn't he here? Why are you here? I, I think he sounds like somebody who's also been groomed by him. I think. Of I'm course, aware of this is, is what I'm saying. Why have you sent since, yeah, one of I your think, little groomed minions to try yeah, and defend you? At least, at least send your top shotter boy. And I don't mean the street shotter. I mean psychological, intellectual shotter boy. Yeah. Even, yeah. even, so even that. Send the half wit. Even that. Who, who, who's, who? Like, who's got any? Um, He's on about check his like what resume is he talking about? Who's got any like what's he done in the street? And I'm not not to glorify it because I'm not like that either. But for somebody that goes so like the, the people that are really out here that have done stuff or do stuff don't talk like that. <laughs> do you know what I mean? They don't tell you how bad they are and how mean they are and how much guns they've shot. Like mm. it's the complete exactly. opposite. The, the, they, they don't want you, they don't want you to know. They don't want yeah. you to know that stuff. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? This this guy is is, is so is is so far from it. It's it's ridiculous. Like before things got serious, just listening to you just you just laughing. Like what on earth are you talking? Uh, about? Uh, uh, yeah. <laughs> what are you talking ridiculous. about? He, he he wouldn't even raise his voice if me and my big brother were in the same room as him together. It's mm -hmm. only when one of us might be on our own. Maybe he's got a weapon nearby. He feels like he might have a chance. He's very selective with what he does. He's very in control of his thoughts and he's very in control of when he wants to set himself off and he does it because he knows when he'll get punched up and he knows when he won't. Classic bully, though. Literally. You're just gonna pick on it. And then it seems to me that the only ones that are really around him that, that he feels more powerful than is his own little small children of primary school age. Yeah. It's yeah. ridiculous. It's ridiculous. And the last thing I will say, the one thing my, my, it's the one thing my big brother says, it's all fun and games doing all of this. You got eight boys. It's all fun and games until your eight boys' army turns on you. Then what? Exactly, because you have to grow. Then and what? As, as my father would say, the puppy them turn big dog. Do you know what I'm saying? Yeah. But that's I mean, the narrative, and that's what he tries to say. I've got eight kids. I've got eight kids. If you knew these kids' story, <laughs> their lives, this is their whole lives, you know. This isn't wow. just now. This isn't this life. This is 20. They don't know any different from a father. So you listening to my nephew now, tell me <laughs> how proud I should be that they've turned oh, out the way that they have. Against all the odds, really, isn't it? Against all the odds. God alone. Against all God the alone. odds. God alone. And um, we uh, we DM'd and contacted, sorry, DM'd and uh, tagged people like uh, Penny, Penny Woolcock, is it? Is that the name? Penny Woolcock. And all these other individuals that work with him, but we haven't had a response. I understand that um, he's been contacted by you guys or, or people in your family before. They've been contacted, haven't they? And they don't seem to have responded. You know, I'm saying that they need to respond. I, I believe it's because they have money tied up in whatever he's I, doing at the moment. So it's obviously a conflict of interest right now. But I do know or I believe that they're not with it. They're not for it. But business isn't it so no it's not good enough actually yeah. we're quite sick and tired of people coming into our community feeding off of it whether it's those from within that terrorize the community and then make money from it make money from the image pretend to be someone else like we've seen in this one mile thing i watch i don't even think i'm watching the rest of it that's enough for me knowing what i know but um you know this happens all the time and they need to stop you know, it was in, like in the case when we had uh, the situation with Marcus Nasty, the DJ, you know, we got in touch with his management and this woman didn't give a damn about black women. She was a white middle, middle, what do you call it? Eastern European woman. She didn't give a damn about us. All she cared about was her promotions. You know, we see it time and time and time again, and it's time that it stopped. So I know how the his time is up family when they put themselves together can be very, very powerful. You guys need to at Penny Walcock, um, 
and all the other production companies. I'm going to put them up during the week. I can't even remember all of them right now. Help me out, team. Post it in the chat for me. Uh, the people that he works with, Femi, somebody as well, I wanted a conversation with. These people need to act because there's no reason why he should be profiting from this act, from this persona that he puts out and terrorising his children and his, his women folk in the process. I want to know, I I'd like to know, obviously, you work within the prison systems or whatnot, you might have a bit more on it than me. I don't I don't think I've, and I've asked multiple people, been in jail, out of jail, all of that. How, how do you get out? How do you get off remand five days after being sent there from court? Well, to no bail conditions, to, to, to no to just, bail conditions with those types of injuries, right? To, 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 to still know. stay and sleep in the same premises that you committed the crime, but yet you're still on bail for the crime. Now, I'm not, I'm not saying I'm not pushing like God, oh, he needs to be in jail and all of that. That's I don't even need to speak on that, it all speaks for itself. But how you the fact of the matter is it happened and you wasn't there how did you get released because nobody else in the whole of Birmingham has conceived to tell me that that's happened to anyone that they know mm. do you know what I mean and if you are gay come out the closet if you are a, a snitch then say that you're a snitch and give give a positive message then if you want if you want <laughs> on how on why you're no, helping right. the police you're a reformed gangbanger if you like to push that story and that's why you're helping the police but <laughs> It's again, yeah, it's, it's the duality right? for me. It's the duality. I I abhor duality. I abhor people that try to come out and put themselves at the forefront of our community and they know that they've got these dirty ways going on behind closed doors and that they're terrorising and abusing people. I, we don't stand for that whatsoever. Magic, forget it, bro. It's not going to work. Like, why are you back? I can see him backstage. I'm not bringing him on. I, he's, I he's, 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 he's probably been coached. He sounds like he's had something in his drink as well. Would you guys want me to bring him on and try to see what he's got to say? Because I'm not going to really tolerate him tonight. He's, he's not really saying a lot. Hmm. Magic, what is it? If you've got something of value to say, my brother, then great. But if not, we're just going to get back to where we were before. What do you need to say, Magic? Can you hear me? Yeah, we can hear you. Yeah, I'm trying to say something like. Go ahead, then. <laughs> what have you got to say? Um. One second. Are you laughing? Are you yeah. sniggering, Magic? No, I'm not sniggering. I don't. Do you think I think this thing is funny? This is not. Yeah, it's funny not a funny all. business, really. I, got, I thought I could hear that in the background. Just, I you need to like ahead. this, like. If a man's your friend and you see stuff going around about the internet about him and he's doing well for yourself, of course you're going to stand up for him. Oh, but you're here now. I was asking you, what do, what say you now, Magic? What do you say, please? I said I was asking you, what are you saying now? Because you were one of the loudest voices defending him. Now that you've heard the live and you've heard the evidence, what are you saying? Well... Dylan has to defend himself in this one. Oh, because, just, oh, I imagine, because imagine, I... imagine, imagine. Let me let me ask you a question, bro. Okay. Yeah. As as a friend, as a brethren, do you not think first and foremost you should actually see what's going on before you defend the brethren? Because you could be, you could be defending a madness that you don't even yeah. know. For, for, that's my that's the first thing, and the second thing is, I I don't know how you don't see what's been put in here today. But I personally think you have. But as a brethren, if you really are brethren, should you not be able to go to your brethren and say, yo, you're wrong for that, you know? You shouldn't even be moving like that. I can't believe you're going on like that. Or even if you are concerned, brethren, should you be saying, oh, you need to get help then, bro? You need to do this, you need to do that. Rur, rur, rur. Oh, you got kids, you shouldn't be doing that to your kids. Basically, you're just saying you're condoning everything that you're doing, and that's cool if that's no. the way you live your life, bro. How did I say I'm condoning everything? You know what it is? It's one or the other, bro. Listen, either, listen, either he's wrong or he's not. Okay, can I explain something, yeah? I see a thing going around about my vision saying this and that, yeah? Like, I'm just natural, like, same as if it's you, fam, you're my vision, and a man's saying something about you, I'm going to be like, what are you talking shit about my vision for? You get me? I've come onto this live show now, and I've seen all of this, and then I'm being questioned about stuff that he says. Like, I don't know how to answer those. Have you spoke to him? Like that. Have you spoke to him? I haven't spoken to him today. So then it's irrelevant, bro. How are you coming on here and, and, and defending someone and you don't even know the story? What are you going to do? You, listen, 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 listen. What are you going to do if you phone him and he says, bro, it's true? <laughs> you look like a dickhead. You just come on here and spoke in his defence and he's just told you it's true. Then what? I Obviously that hasn't happened. Name, yeah, I spoke because my name got called out. 
I was in this, I was in this chat for ages, you're not saying nothing. And then I heard, oh, magic hands of magic saying something. No, I hear you. I magic hear you. hands of magic saying something. Oh, pe he's saying this. Now he's too afraid to come on the team. But you've so been Your to name was poor because you, you told, you told the big that, woman to suck him out. You've said you, you've not spoke to him though, have you? Not today. So I you don't know him yesterday about this? Yeah, I, sp I spoke to him. And what's he said to he you? He says he doesn't know nothing about it. That's what he told me. He's got, he's, he doesn't know nothing about it. He doesn't know what's yeah, going on. He says, he says it's all bullshit. Oh, he says, well, he, now he now he says you know he's been lying to you, right? So, so now you should know he's lying then because you've heard it? Well, I've, I've heard him well, on the well, phone. Well, well, that's well, what? what I'm saying. So, so, so that's what I'm trying to explain to you. When you're asking me about what he's saying now, and then you're thinking that I'm going slow. It's because I don't know how to answer a question like that. You need to... Okay, the only, right, reason, the only reason... The only reason... Can I just end this? You're not even yeah. making no sense, bro. So I'm going to... Yeah. Nah, listen to what I'm magic, saying. Magic, listen. I'm magic, magic, can I speak? The reason your yeah. name got called is because you told me to suck my mother in the comments. Know, it's the only reason I, I your know, name got I know called. The, I know the reason why my name is. Right, called, and then you came on fronting it like to say, oh, you think I'm too scared, let me jump on. My name got called, so I came on. All right, love. All right, Magic, you ain't got nothing to defend. If you were a true brother, you'd go and ask him about these these things. Whether you can hear that recording or not, you're you're now on on the live with his uh, family members. What are you saying to that? They've told you this. I'm not saying nothing to their family. Members. All right, They're then you ain't. You don't need to be here. That. You are gonna be. Yeah, 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 yeah. Safe, and that's safe, safe. The end of that. Oh, what an idiot! What an idiot! If that's if that's the kind of man that he's got around, I was right. gonna say, show me your friends. Really? <laughs> show me your friends, man. I tell you, you right? Are. That's your right hand wingman, him. That's your friend, and he's forty one. Ridiculous! <laughs> but I'm gonna keep it moving, guys. I just wanted to come on here and and just say something because obviously I felt obligated because it's family and obviously I got little sisters and whatnot. Thank what? you. And this is Dylan Duffus's son for anybody that wants to question anything. This is his boy. Um, I'm sure you wouldn't come on here impersonating his son, would you? I'm sure they'd be held to pay if he impersonated one of his children. I could no, no. that's my nephew. That's my nephew. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. All right. Thanks for having me, Sina. All right, my darling, you take care. Boy, I don't think anyone else is going to come on and try to defend him. There's nothing to defend. Where are you people that was in the comments? Where's this? There was one woman telling me that I'm wicked and I'm clouds chasing and I'm doing this and I'm doing that. Where are you? As usual, sis, as usual. Mm -hmm. <laughs> I'm going to put the link out one more time, people. Oh, God. I thought we might, I thought we might have taken a turn in the comeback. I thought we might have some new blood that might have something substantial to say. And come on and try to defend it, like really, yeah. Isn't he? Isn't that young man anonymous, lovely, and articulate? What an articulate young man! I love all of that. I love to see our boy, our boys thriving, Giglio. I really do. Yeah. I think you and Kay have been so brave tonight. It's not. It's not easy to come on and stand up to this level of scrutiny. You know, mm -hmm. um, there isn't anybody that's hearing your testimony and seeing some of the things that they've seen. Apart from this one magic guy who just, as I say, seems to be a bit of a half wit. Yeah. Um, and, and and because I'm not, you know, this is this is why I'm here. I'm here for them. I'm yeah. not, I, I ain't got nothing for, but for them, they have to, you know, this is this is supposed to be their dads, you know what I mean? So I'm mm -hmm. glad we came on, but at the end of the day, you know, I'm, I, I'm here for them. That's why mm -hmm. I'm here. There's been people in the chats that's uh, been saying that they fear for your safety and this kind of thing. How do you feel about that? I've seen the act. <laughs> it's been an act for 30 years, isn't it? Bring it back. Yeah, Bring it yeah you're kind of over him that way, aren't yeah, you? Yeah, it's nothing new, isn't it? It's nothing new. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, it wouldn't be I, I don't, in I don't interest. Think interest. We've already been in touch with Birmingham Police um, and some of the surrounding area, those forces there. We've been in touch with those people. Mm -hmm. Um, they are aware, uh, and they're aware as well of uh, because the one of the, the victim that was supposed to come on has also informed them. Um, it's not in his best interest to start going after anybody that's participated in this live tonight, including myself. It's really not, and not least because he's on bail, he'll get a recall like real quick. He'll be back on remand wow. if he carries that on. 
Um, he really will. Uh, we're also going to be contacting the Legacy Awards because we don't feel that this man should be representing our community in any way, shape or form. Any way, shape or form. Uh, his son with the gash in his face. I'm going to show everyone it one more time, as horrendous as it is, because I think it's important for people to understand the magnitude of this guy. And I think the thing with that picture is <laughs> it's, it's, it's a picture that we've got. You know, it's, well, it's a picture that we've got. If yeah. we were to have forethought and collated all of the things, you know, like there is, there's so much. And There'd be a hell of a lot more injuries. I'm, not, I'm, not gonna, yeah. I'm, I'm sort of not desensitised, but when that happened, it's like, what <laughs> what more? And nothing comes of it. Do you know, nothing comes of it. Because he's been coerced between his dad, who did yeah. that, Dylan Duffus, and his mother. They've, he's been coerced to drop, try to drop the charges, isn't he? He's not going to go to court. Is that right? Yeah, that's that's the norm. That that's what happens every time. Oh. Kind of thing. And he's still he's still one of the younger ones. Yeah, he's, exactly. He's an adult now, but he's still one of the he's younger still ones. One of the younger it's ones. a case of you know what I mean, he's got nowhere to live. So at the end yeah. of the day, just your mom's yeah. you're gonna go home. You're gonna go home. But again, even that, my nephew had him for five weeks. <laughs> I had him in the house after it happened yeah. and, and, and tried to. There's called D coming on. Welcome to this time. Is that D alive? Hi. Hi. Hiya. Hi. Did you say D? No. Um, so uh, this is. Let's... Am I live? Yeah, you're live. You're live. You're talking to me. Oh, we can't see you though. Oh, we can sorry. Only... So no, this is okay. That's fine. No, this is something that I've never really. I don't go on live stream, so for me to pick my iPad up and you come on on screen, and I, I actually looked at it and I thought I didn't know who you was talking about. Didn't know who this Dylan was. I went on the internet, had a look at the face, and I thought, yeah, you know what what you're doing for the community. It is beautiful, you know, because we need more people like you to, you know, you. to bring all this, 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 off, okay? this out. Thank you. Yeah, sorry. Yeah, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Yeah, no, so it, 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 this is what we need as a community. Um, and especially, you know, black black young boys growing up in, in, in the community, whether it's Birmingham, Nottingham or London, they seem to get mm -hmm. highlighted more than the black girls. You know, we, we're kind of like a, a, a missing, we're missing from being highlighted, whether it's mental health, being groomed, abused. So what you're yeah. doing, I, I fully appreciate what you're doing. Yeah. Thank you. And just to let you know, um, we've covered a few stories from Birmingham so far. Sorry, we've covered a okay. few stories from Birmingham so far, but there's not a lot of, um, you know, a lot of people in Birmingham don't know. I think they'll know after tonight what we're doing. We have an annual march every year in London, and we do want to bring one to Birmingham as well. But we have a march of, you know, all black women survivors. We all come together in Brixton once a year in October um, to celebrate ourselves and to hear our voices, basically. And to just, you know, it, it, it's something Perfect. we don't and we don't do. So spread the sure. word in Birmingham, get yourselves organized. No, I, you know, I'm not even get the right I'm in Birmingham. I'm in she's going in a country. London. Are you in London? Or even no, I'm in London. I'm in London. I'm in, yeah. Oh, even better. Even better. Yeah, I'm in London. So look out for the information. Point, I'm going to try and get your, um, your email. Interest, yeah, because are you on um, Instagram at all, yeah. Oh, you are so you can find me on Afro Rose 69 I will. on Instagram. Will do. All right, blessed love for that. All right, now, all right. Um, again, and I'm, I'm, I'm not used to all this technology. <laughs> you Oh, she's off, bless her. I was going to take her off. Leonie says, Leo Chester is and always has been a woman beater. Brother Leo, I certainly hope not, Brother Leo. I mean, you would have to talk. I know Leo very well. I hope not. I've never heard that, but I hope not. Wouldn't deny it. I ain't denying it. 
because every man's got their ways behind closed doors, you know. Sis, is there anything else that you want to add before we wrap up? For me, I just wanted to add that. Um, this, this is pain now. This is, yeah. Uh, yeah. Hi, Sorry, Kay. oh, yeah, yeah. Um, yeah, upon an an analysing this whole situation, it's just highlighted to me, and other situations also, it's just highlighted to me the absolute desperation of some of the people in our community, mm -hmm. like of of seen women with children defending paedophiles, of seen men with children defending men that hit women, but then mm -hmm. they'll also do the image thing and make out like they were upstanding citizen and stuff like that and I'm not sure where it stems from but to me it seems to just stem from an absolute desperation and the lack of identity and a lack of or feeling like that's how you gain status and gain something and these people mm -hmm. a lot of them just they clearly have nothing about themselves yeah. so they attach to these things and these people yeah and it's just sad because a lot of these people are two times my age <laughs> they're two times my age and they are perpetuating this cycle for no actual reason apart from it becomes selfish it's yeah. selfish because it's for their own sense of oh i claim to know this guy he's a good guy and he's this guy so i'm gonna sit here and attach myself and claim while well, my kids are there mm -hmm. and i wouldn't want anyone treating them this way but for my sense of self, I'm going to sit here and defend a person like this. It's sad. It's very sad. It's very, very sad. And I just think okay. people really need to just just grow up and just sort themselves out and just get out of this ghetto mentality. It's just mm -hmm. ghetto and all of this snitching, labelling people as snitches and all of that type of stuff. Like, at one point, maybe that made sense when people like this would have actually gotten dealt with by their community. Maybe mm -hmm. it made a bit of sense when the only mm -hmm. thing to snitch about was someone trying to make money. But at this point in time, it's ridiculous. It's absolutely it's, 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 ridiculous. It's come from the plantation of, you know, are you going to go and tell the massa that we're organising a rebellion? You know what I mean? You're a real sellout for that, aren't you? Mm -hmm. And I, I just feel like it's come from there. But you're right. It's got to a point where it's become self-destructive. Yeah. it's got to stop it really and really like does. people think that their whole like they don't know they think that it makes them look away or feel away when they actually assess how sorry they are and their lives are mm -hmm. just, just sort yourselves out just please please because kids are growing up and they're growing up past adults Great. and yep. choosing choosing to leave their families leave like situations behind because the adults are refusing to sort out their mentalities is stupid. Absolutely. I, I feel like we're going to have to die out. Our generation will have to die out first before we see any real change because they're stuck in their ways. I mean, even um, I was uh, somebody, um, thank you for that, Kay, by the way. That, I mean, Delia, your children yeah. are an absolute credit to you, my sister. Well done. Well done. They're absolutely beautiful, beautiful, articulate, wonderful black people. They're great um yeah you know look at the end of the day we are our own worst enemy we're guilty of internalized racism the, you know the white man took his hands off years ago generations mm -hmm. ago in fact and we are self-perpetuating now we're mm -hmm. doing it to ourselves you know mm -hmm. we're doing it to ourselves we really really are and this dylan duffus guy is a classic case in point of what is wrong in our community, yeah, you know? Right. But these are the types of men that seek power, that put themselves at the forefront of the community and uh, seek to represent and speak for us. Meanwhile, they're abusing their, their folk behind closed doors. It's, it's unacceptable. And we exist to call that out because we don't need it in our community. We really, really don't. We need good upstanding brothers that are able to, I mean, where do I start with this magic fellow? 41 years old and this is what you've got to contribute to to the betterment of your people really <laughs> this is what you miss that's what i'm talking about it's the magics of this world the dylan duffuses of this world but it's almost as though they're the majority sorry it's almost as though they're the majority sometimes it feels that way doesn't it it yeah. does i'm not saying it is i it's not but then we have a silent majority then of brothers that just refuse to come forward and to me, yeah. it's just as bad as the other. Yeah. 
you know, because actually who better to deal with these people than their own peers, yeah. their own brothers that say, actually, no, you're not coming out with us. Look at what you've done. But I bet you any money, there'll be people still parring around him if magic is anything to go by. <laughs> there'll be still people accepting him into their friendship circles, won't there? Still happen. And those are the guys that need to be held responsible along with their perpetratory brethren. That's what I believe anyway. It's definitely what I believe. I thought I would have heard from him tonight. Actually, I didn't. We had a wager. Some people were saying he'd jump on. He can't really help himself. He's too much of a... Oh, go away, Magic. You're not coming on again. Just, just go. I'm starting to believe that you actually have got difficulties with understanding. Just kicked him off. He's just come back on to say what I don't know. Um, it would be nice to hear from somebody who's got a, a reasonable argument. Um... This is what happens is it goes so quiet in the comments when the evidence is presented. It really does. That's the thing. There was so much people at the beginning trying to defend That's him. The, and then near the end. Yeah. 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 But I just don't understand why you would try so hard to defend before anything's come up. Like, what do you have for him that we shouldn't or, you know, that we are not supposed to have? why you feel the need to defend him it's very it's sad behavior it's, it's, bizarre, sad. it's very yeah. bizarre um it's this kind of blind loyalty mm -hmm. and we, we do it we do it in our communities i know they didn't that's my brethren you can't say that but you don't know and that's one of the things that one of the affectations of what is wrong with us you understand uh and you know what makes me sick about about this because we see it time and time again what makes me sick is that when, when they've been proven wrong, there's none of them that have the humility and the decency to come on and say, do you know what? Hands up. I was wrong. I apologize. Ma uh, Magic, or what his name is, he didn't apologize for telling me to suck my mother. Yeah. Didn't apologize. Hasn't got the capacity to do that. Mm. That's what's wrong. Jump on. All you little gal gal that was in there defending him on Instagram, that was all very, very vocal, vocal in the comments at the beginning. What say you now? Oh, the yeah. There, jump on. <laughs> I remember once I actually, he'd left his Facebook account open at my nan's. So I logged, I went on and I wrote mm -hmm. a, state, a status on his Facebook exposing himself. The amount of women in the comments talking about, oh, you must be one of the bitter baby mums. He would never be like this. He would never do this. I'm like, who are these people? Go and focus on yourselves. <laughs> like, <laughs> just, yeah. um, thanks, T Dog. You just reminded me, Femi Oyeniran. Want a word with you, Femi? I hope you're not defending this guy. You've been working with him and Penny Walcock and the guy from the Legacy Awards. He's a Birmingham guy, isn't he? He's a Brummy, the Legacy Awards thing. Not a Brummy guy. Yeah, yeah. Oh, thanks, Lioness Keats. So, yeah, he's he's clearly tapped that guy, that, that magic guy. He's tapped. Um, yeah, we're, we're definitely going to be writing them. I want all his time is up supporters, all his followers to flood these people's socials and form some kind of um, boycott, if you like. And I'll tell you another thing. If they don't drop him from those awards, the his time is up team will be outside of those awards, kind of, um, creating some kind of voice for his victims in Birmingham. We're not having it. We're not having it. We don't want these people at the forefront of our community pretending that they represent us in any way, shape or form. And by all accounts, all these films are about negative gang violence and all the rest of it. It's not beneficial to us. We're not putting up with it. And it's as simple as that. My sister, thank you so much, sis, for coming on and sharing. And we will be talking again afterwards as well. Um, I need to take a few details from you that I can pass over to, to Birmingham police as well. So we got, we're gonna make sure that he stays in his lane and doesn't try to hurt anyone else because it's not acceptable, not least myself. He'd be making a very sorry mistake if he thinks he's got my address. If some little treacherous dog has been out there trying to give him my address, who probably knows me or something. I don't know if it's true, it's probably not. A lot of people see my address online and think that it's my home address, it's my business address, let them come. Um, but at the end of the day, if he thinks he's gonna try and locate me and try to come my side of the place and try and do anything, he will get a very rude awakening, let me tell you that, on a number of levels. So um, I, I can't wait. <laughs> when they say this to me and they uh, 
they they threaten me, sis. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Uh, I get excited because I know, well, actually, you're going to get closer to getting your just desserts, aren't you? Mm -hmm. so it's, yeah. it's like, for me, I, you know, like I said, I'll stand in front of these kids. It's, it's been too long, too much. What are you going to do? You're going to kill me. Yeah. <laughs> prove, prove yourself right. You know, do you, your truth in it. If you, that's, <laughs> I'm not saying, you know, I mean, obviously, but that's, what, what more? What more? Yeah. This is why I'm speaking absolutely. now because it's, it's like I, in some sense, I feel a bit, responsible for not speaking before do you know what i mean i've seen these films go ahead and, uh, and whatnot and it's like it, it, it's mad to me it's mm -hmm. mad to me and it's the support behind it too many people already know you got to think for every one of those baby moms there's families there's friends there's whatnot who have seen and seen the bruises and seen the you know what i mean the people yeah. know people know they know and shame on you people that know so it's shame on you that you stand around and allow this to happen Shame on us. Shame on you people in Birmingham that know about this guy and choose to say nothing. And they're, they're the same people that are defending him. That's the thing. No, but, but, but I, I believe there's a lot of people that are not. Do you know what I mean? But like, that's the thing. It's, it's, that's why I feel responsible to do this now. Mm -hmm. Because, you know, you get the magics and the whatnot. Like, talk to me. <laughs> talk to me. I don't care how long you've known him. Mm -hmm. <laughs> That's the thing. Ask me a question. You that that come and grow with him at your foot, or you, you at his <laughs> right. foot. You know what I mean? Right. There, there is no greater validation than that. At the end of his, the day. his children, <laughs> talk to them. Talk, yeah, ask them talk a to question. his children. So everyone's lying on him. He's probably going to say that. Because if, if you've known him that long, you should be a part of his children's life. You should be somebody who you know what I mean. And, and there are. I'm not going to say that there's not. There's people that don't even that don't deal with him that did grow up with him because that you know mm -hmm. what I mean it comes a point where you can't watch that mm -hmm. do you know what I mean I Absolutely. grew up obviously I've, with, there's there's childhood friends and whatnot that I'm still all right with you know what I mean now because but they can't deal with that but you're a big Look. person now you're a big person in your teens and whatnot people might it's not funny it's not it's, it's not it's not entertaining it, it's, 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 it's Ridiculous. It's ridiculous. Sick. <laughs> Sick and twisted. And, you know, there are some wicked family members that all turn against another family member and they become the victim and the, the scapegoat. Um, but that's weeded out very quickly. We've had that before where, you know, a family seems to all be against a certain guy. But in invariably, if they're lying, whoever else he's got in his life will jump on and debunk what they're saying because actually yeah. he's a nice guy, you know? But this isn't the case here. You've if got you his couldn't... children, you've got his sister, you've got well of other people saying all the same thing. I don't see how anybody can defend this man any further. I really don't. He might it... remain quiet, but outside of his baby moms, who's going to stand up next to him and say, you can't defend it? You can't? The baby and mothers that... that have been beaten with dumbbells that he's what done prison it? time for. for that's what I say. For, for them, like they I said, they are, they're victims. They, they are victims. And that's not to say, like, whenever you said that, they ain't accountable as well, because, you know, we, the kids have suffered. But at the end of the day, it's years and years and years of manipulation. And it, I, I kind of, I pity them because they don't realise, they, they don't seem to realise. And mm. it's become a game for them. It's part of their lives now. Yeah. What would they do without I, I, I think what would they do without it now? Might end up having something for them you know he's going to be this guy that makes it or something you know look i'm not one to to really um tamper with social services especially after the the cases that we've been dealing with last year if you if you know the channel you know what i mean but this sounds like something that they need to intervene and safeguard that young boy and ensure that he does stand and go to court against his father because both of his parents are harming him no, he's he's um he's he's over the age now, so it's that's the that's the problem. Oh, he's over. Yeah, he's over yeah, eighteen. He, he, he's over eighteen. So, um, yeah. but well, there are so there are historical support. things. There are historical things. But like I said, I don't feel like he's he hasn't got the support. He's got the support from us, but because he's seen this so many times, I don't think he feels as if he's gonna get an outcome. So right. he's, he's a bit. That is so sad. Yeah, like Kay says, he's probably he's got Stockholm syndrome as well because it's it's all of his life. This is what he's seen. Those are his parents. Those are his parents. So, and even with like to say my mom or whatnot, he's never seen. You know what I mean? That there's any consequences. So.
I can I only imagine, that. you know, really how alone he feels in the situation. That is, um, you know, that is, I can't even imagine. I really, really can't imagine how how that young man feels in that he's situation. Been, he's been called a snitch and imagine. stuff like that. Do you know what I mean? He's been called a snitch. Snitching on you, do <laughs> What? Right, so... So your father is allowed to young. chop you in your face with a machete and you can't say anything? Well, I, I'm, not, I'm not saying it's a machete, actually, but it looks like a mache to me. It looks like something of that nature. I'm sorry, but it does. Some Somebody said a, a gun butt. It's possible. It's possible. And actually worse on some levels. You know, what are you doing with a gun on your child? What the hell? No, that's unacceptable. That's unacceptable. I don't care how we want to normalise it. As a community, it is unacceptable. Why can't he snitch on his dad? The bottom line is this, is that we should have mechanisms within our community where he could go to those people and those people deal with his father. Well, this is what I'm saying. That's, that's I think that's what, what Kay was trying to say. Like, the no snitching thing should have been, well, we are going to deal with this ourselves. We aren't. Mm -hmm. We ain't having it. We're not going to have it around us. Yeah. But in my lifetime, that's not what I've seen. You know, I mean, it's, it's, it's a cop-out thing. There's certain things that aren't acceptable, raping and drugging women and beating children. And hmm. we're going to stand next to you and say, you know, defend you. Mm. It's, it's... Well, do you know what? I mean, look, if you're drugging women, this is what I'm saying. If you're drugging women to turn them up, whatever that means, yeah, you're going to have sex with them. How do these women know that it's just you having sex with them or you've not done things that they wouldn't have consented to that's, you know... I mean, the mind boggles. Why would you do that? And why would you do that to your own woman? Mm. Who's not going to deny you sex? Well, this you know, is the thing. It doesn't make any sense. Anyway, happening. all this this polygamousness and all that, it's nastiness. That's, I, I'm sorry, but that's what it is because they all know they sleep with everybody anyway. So if, if you want to consent to that, but like I said, I have to pity the situation because it's, it's, it's off. Then they're not right, not okay. He said that, didn't he, when he was speaking to me that you know I live different. I live in a polygamous. He, lives, polygamous he does. He does. Right. He's different. And, and you're okay, all right. So it's you know self-confess. The baby Sorry. mother was sat next to him while he said that. So yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. So we know what it is, but this is not just about polygamy. You know, look. In principle, in principle. I believe that we come from a polygamous society in ancient Africa and whatever. I believe that it probably works better. But you've also got to be able to afford those wives and, right. those children and look support. after them and take care and of them and protect them. them and provide for them. That's, that's not the case. Right. This ain't it. <laughs> this is but not that's right. If you misapply it, if you misapply it in this society, it's it can create big destruction. It can it can destroy lives as we've seen, you know, and that what he's got then is not really polygamous. It's just a destructive little cabal that protects him and his atrocities. That's what he's built there. It's not a true polygamous society. And, you know, <laughs> where are they going with this? I've heard, I've heard a few brothers with this. They, some of them call themselves Hebrew Israelites or whatever, um, just so that they can legitimize their, their, their behavior. That's what they do. So it would appeal to somebody like him, wouldn't it? That kind of liberty. Like you said, in ancient civilizations, even in biblical times and things like that, but there are structure and there are, yeah. you know, you're supposed to, and it, it's not something that I, but I'm just saying, if that's the case, if that's the argument for it, this, yeah. it, this is not that, this is nastiness. That's what it is, exactly. <laughs> exactly, it's a bag of nastiness with um, you controlling these vulnerable women who've convinced themselves that, you know, the only way in life is to defend you, even against their own children. My goodness gracious me. It doesn't look like anyone else is going to jump on, sis. We're going to wrap up. We're going up to nearly three and a half hours now. Okay. Um, we're going to wrap it up. Um, let's hope there isn't more cause to do a second live on this. I doubt it. Um, where are you, Dylan Duffus? I think you're a coward. That's my assessment, but I'll talk about him in a minute. Sis? Delia, yeah. it's been a pleasure having you on, my sister. I want to thank you for your bravery, for your courage, for your truth. Okay? Uh, Kay, same for you. And I know everybody else in the background that's been listening quietly, same for you too. And we'll talk again soon. I'll definitely be catching you guys up tomorrow or in the week, okay? Keep, keep doing what you do because, you know, more of it's needed. To us, you know, keep uh, sorry, there's somebody called Reese that wants to speak. Oh, I've just seen... 
Okay, let's let's just hang it. Let's just hang on. I think we might have one more person coming on. Reese, I'm putting the link back out if you want to come on. I think they might have something significant to say. That's what it looks like. Jump on, cut, copy and paste the link into your browser, and that should bring you into the live. It's not a clickable link, I don't think. I'm going to put it up on the screen as well, in case you need to tap it out, in case you can't copy and paste. Let's just hang fire and see if they can jump on. Just about to wrap up. This, this does sometimes happen. You've been going a long time. <laughs> oh, boy. Hey, boy. Let's see on the Instagram page in the morning. It's going to be a lot less comments and a lot less defense. I've just got to laugh. I'm not laughing because it's funny and I'm not making light of the situation or any of the testimonies that's been given. I'm laughing because it's just almost like these people read from the same script. Time and time and time again, we see the same type of energy. Mm -hmm. You know, what's happened with this story, Delia, is what I'm saying. Yeah. Same kind of energy. All these people defend, defend, defend. Um, they think it's a joke business that we're going to come on and just chat people and we've got no real back at you. Uh, and then they see the evidence and they can't say anything. It's mad. I, I can't. It's it's for me. It's it's such a shame because I, it's like if we can't. I can't take my community seriously <laughs> from watching the community back him and rally around him, knowing what they know. I I mm -hmm. feel you know what I mean. And my children, I can't say yeah because at the end of the day, this this is this is what it really is, you know. So it's mm -hmm. like it's 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 a shame, man. It really is. The other thing, person I want to talk about being disappointed in is Lady Leisha of Birmingham, this, this young rapper girl person. Um, she is in some kind of collaboration with him over this camo vodka drink. We tagged her. I've been told by one of your family members that they also contacted her and they've heard nothing from her. Mm, it doesn't surprise me. What are you saying, sis? Lady Lasha, Lasha, Lasha? How do I say it? It doesn't surprise me. It does not surprise I'm me. I'm disgusted with these people. I really, really am. You're a woman as well. Yeah. She don't know it, but one of my daughters, who's the middle daughter who does music, when she was 16, she's now 23, Lady Lesher <laughs> put out um, a kind of uh, initiative in the community called Girls and Grime. And my daughter was on that and she really looked up to you. But you're a wrong one if you're not standing up for this Lady Leisha. Is that how you say it, Roshan? Seven? Lady Leisha. Um, actually, I didn't know. Like I said, I, for me, it, there's no oh. doubt to me that even if they haven't, even if they don't know the ins and outs and details and, you know what I mean, situations that have happened, being around him, there's no way that you don't recognise there's something, that's not right. You're, he's be, that's his general behaviour. So, you know. If you're around him long enough, you're going to know. Someone yeah. said she her girlfriend recently. We're talking about Lady Lesha. I didn't know she was... Um, she had girlfriends. Oh, okay. Yeah. It's crazy. I think for me, Hi. it's... it's yeah, go ahead. It is crazy, but I think, obviously, she actually does have things tied up with him, which is no excuse. But it's the people that have nothing to do with him, apart from being able to claim they're from the same city or from right. a similar black background, despite not even knowing his background and stuff like that. Mm -hmm. That really does it for me. Like, I've seen men in the comments, men that were, like, my father's friends and even his friends that I looked up to as a child okay. trying to defend this man. <laughs> and it's like, as a child, I looked up to these men as grown adult people that I'd be able to continue to look up to. But when I look at them now, there's no progression mentally, physically, emotionally, no progression. And they're just becoming, just becoming like, I don't know, everything that I thought that they weren't. Like, <laughs> just, yeah. And I just feel like, I don't know. It's the, it's yeah, it's just, it's utterly disappointing, really. It's like, these are men that I actually thought were upstanding citizens and stuff. And they're becoming... Dylan's and yeah, it's sad, it's just sad, but it's yeah, it's that's what people to look forward to in terms of defending the, the future generations. Is all it's of the that. ghetto, it's a lack of Absolutely it's a lack crazy. of a sense of identity and a lack of a sense of belonging, a lack mm -hmm. of a sense of status. All of that is attained through you doing what you need to do for yourself and doing what's right, not by following people and being yeah. people's bum. <laughs> And that's why we exist. 
I don't think Reese is coming on. Um, as I said before, guys, we are going to do the His Time Is Up March. Uh, not you guys, the audience. Um, we're going to do the His Time Is Up March this year. But to be honest, oh, God, this guy. Sorry, I just seen the private chats. My magic went into the private chats while he was on. Stop calling my name, like calling my name in it. <laughs> Get lost. I'm sorry. I just got to make a, a, a doofus out of these people. If you pardon the pun. <laughs> yeah, pardon the pun. <laughs> it's my name as well. <laughs> I know. Unbelievable people, guys! Subscribe. Hit the like button. Hit that like button. You know. Don't let me sit here for three and a half hours and you guys ain't hitting the like button. So please, please, please do that right now. In the description, we've got a uh, GoFundMe back up. We've got Cash App back up, which I've totally forgotten to mention throughout the whole thing. I know that um, mods were probably doing their work and doing that. Um, we need to raise money for the March this year. It's as simple as that. We don't back our own, you know. Um, we do when it matters sometimes. You know, we were able to raise £5,000 to, to Berry Sister. Let's do it again. Let's start donating. Hit, hit, hit that cash app, people. If you haven't got cash app, hit the GoFundMe. If you haven't got GoFundMe, get PayPal. I've put it all in there. We need to raise some money. Um, we always kind of just about make enough every year that I still have to put some of my own money on top. I've got a little one to look after. Even though you guys know I've got older kids, I still have baby Afua. She's 12, and I can't always be putting in my own pocket for us. So... I would if I could. I wish I was a millionaire. I'd just be doing it all. I wouldn't even ask you guys for nothing, um, for them to say that I'm trying to take money from people and, and squander whatever, like I'm some kind of faith preacher. No, we need to put things on for ourselves that cost money. We need to fund it. And therefore, we do that as a community, just like when our grandparents used to chore partner. That's what we do. OK, everybody sees where it goes because we put that event on every year and it costs money. And so does security cost money because we have to keep ourselves safe. So that's what that is for anyone that wants to try get up in the comments and say nothing. Um, so we will have that much if we raise enough in the next few weeks, next couple of weeks. That's what's going to happen. I don't think I'm going to go forward straight and do it if we haven't raised enough. So please hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it, hit it. Why have we got fours and threes up? Why have we got fours and threes up, mods? we got fours and threes up. I don't know. I don't understand why. Sis, bless yeah. you, sis. I don't think Reese is coming on. They're on a joke thing. So I'm going to bid you guys good night, okay? Yeah, you too. And I'll speak to you real soon. Blessed love, Kay. Right. Thanks a lot. And you too. Blessed love, sis. Take care. <laughs> what lovely, lovely, lovely people. What lovely people, honestly. Such such lovely people. I can't get over how lovely they are. And this demon, this demon. Do you still want me to call you back, Dylan, after I've watched one, one mile or one day or whatever it's called, one mile away? Do you still want me to call you back? Because I believe that you're a liar. Okay, first of all, you lied blatantly on that conversation with me when you were supposed to be um, a nice guy, according to you. You beat your children relentlessly, way past anything you were trying to say or those men were trying to say in your documentary. You're a charlatan, you're fake, and you come on on a documentary like that, misleading your people, your very own people, misleading them and making them think that you think that uh, corporal punishment shouldn't be taken too far. You're a waste man, you're a charlatan, you're a liar, and you're an abuser. That's what you are, Dylan Duffus. Um, and I'd love for you to contact me again and ring off my phone, my um, the way that you were ringing off my Instagram on these couple of occasions. I'm not sure why you called me yesterday. I think it was to find out if I'd watch, watched your documentary. But I have now, and my, uh, my opinion of you remains the same, because you seem to think that watching this documentary would sway me in some way. But as you can see, we've been doing a lot of talking to a lot of people. Yes, we have shown our evidence, and I believe that we've shown it very well. Papa One, if you guys are convinced from the evidence that we've shown that this man does drug women against their will, and he does beat, uh, beat women up. It was Magic's assumption that he was doing it in the same breath. I never said that. Papa One in the comments for me, people. I want to see what public opinion is saying tonight. 
Put up a two if you're not convinced. Put up a one if you are. Let's see what this poll says. It's coming up. I think my computer's running a little bit slow. Oh, here they come. Mm-hmm. <laughs> well, I haven't seen any twos yet. Maybe, I know Magic might offer one. <laughs> okay. All right. It's almost unanimous. Let's give it another 30 seconds. A one if you're convinced from the evidence presented that he does drug women against their will and beat women up. And a two if you're not convinced. Someone said, is this cool? Well, clearly it's not. Mm -hmm. I don't know what a free means. Is a free undecided? Actually, let's have that. A free is undecided. <laughs> Oh, blessed love family. It's so good to be back with you guys. Next week, we're going to be hearing from, um, next minute, we're going to get a two and a one. That don't make sense. Next minute, we're going to be hearing from uh, Denise, uh, the, the mother, hopefully her partner as well, because we want to catch you guys up with that story and the progress of those children since they've been back home and what's been going on. Um, don't worry, you guys, make sure you get hold of Femi, the production company, Penny Walcock, um, the Legacy Awards in Birmingham. Just look it all up and make sure you guys express um, what it is that you've heard tonight and what you think, yeah? Uh, I don't often tell you guys to go for people, but this one needs to be gone for. And we'll be doing that as a team anyway, making sure that uh, the right emails are sent to the right people. And as I said, if we're not heard, just like with Tim Westwood, we will be outside the venue when these things are happening so that we can formulate some kind of uh, response because we're not having it anymore. It's as simple as that. Simple as that. Birmingham, what are you saying? What are you going to do as a community? Are you going to respond to this guy? Yeah? Respond to him. Don't, let him. don't allow him to terrorize your women. You know, as far as I know, Birmingham girls are lovely. I used to live up there for about three months in the 80s when I was touring with a play. I lived just off of Lazelle's Road. I used to go to the Black Cat Cafe to buy ganja, get my jaw from there. Yeah, I remember it very well. And I remember the girls being so lovely and friendly and me thinking to myself, well, they're much nicer than London girls. You know, they'll come and they go, oh, you look really nice and pretty and all of this. And I just go, oh, you look lovely. I loved it. So what's happened to you guys, man? What, what, when did it get like this? Gang banging and terrorising the sisters. Like, it can't work, man. It can't work. You know? Manchester, Birmingham, these places are close to my heart. I've got fond memories of these places in my in my youth. I used to whiz up and down the motorway raving and doing whatever. Why did it get like this, man? Brothers and sisters, it's good to be back. We will be back again next week, as you well and know. Um, and yeah, we're developing, we're developing. Oh, I forgot to mention, I've got this up because there's the merch coming out. We've got the merch. Please get your orders in. Um, it's going to be going forward. Let me know um, who wants what. You know, we've got red and we're going to have black and we've got white. So um, let me know if we're going forward with the march, then yeah, that's going to be another way to raise revenue for that. Um, we're always very, very transparent on this channel. And I did also forget to mention that we are going out for the first time live on Facebook. We've been live on Facebook all night. So um, for, you, for those of you that didn't know, that's another development. So a slightly new look out on another platform. Um, each time we go live, it's not just going to be YouTube. It's also going to be on Facebook as well. And that's been happening. Hit the super chat for those of you that are a little bit more tech savvy and know what's going on. Blessed love. You can also hit the super chat if you want to donate. If you like what you see and you want this channel to progress, you want it to keep going. You want the campaign to keep going, which is real life and happens on the ground. Um, then donate, 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 my brothers and sisters. And uh, other than that, I will see you guys next week. Um, and as I say, you know, we are back and we are back stronger and better. And there is going to definitely be extensions of what we do coming out on the ground and making sure. Leonie, please DM me if you have evidence of that. I need to find out what's going on there. You know, it would break my heart if it's true. But um, I would need evidence of that before I start going in on that, to be fair. Blessed love, blessed love. Um, thank you. Thank you, Sharmina Cha. Get a super sticker. Uh, hit the membership button. Oh, members, I've neglected you, my love. Do you know what? I don't even know what to say to you anymore. I really, really don't. Um, 
I think I just need to flow and be organic because there's stuff I want to upload sometimes and I think, oh, do they really want to see that? Do they want to see me and Baby Afro are running around or what do they actually want to see? Do they want me talking about African crypto or what do you want to see? So please message me under this live, all your members and tell me what you want to see or message me in the members lounge. I think you can do that. I think you can. Uh, and tell me what kind of stuff you want me to put up because I'm ready. I'm ready to give you your exclusive comment, um, content. Uh, do you want kind of little previews of what's going to be happening on the lives? What is it that you want from me? I will be giving that to you because um, I'm a bit kind of at a, a loss. I'm, I'm going to be honest. I tried to turn my hand to it when I was on the break because I, I do like to keep my promises. And then I was thinking, what do I put? Uh, someone suggested, I was talking earlier on, um, that we I should do a content creators course because then I could learn how to work all the little gadgets and whatever and do videos and clip them myself and not rely on people. And I reckon that's a good idea, actually, at this stage in the game. Someone's asking about Derek Morgan, actually. Yes, I really forgot to mention that before we go. Um, look in the description, guys. There are the links for the donations. Please keep donating. We need to have this March this year. I want to have it in honour of Sister Lorraine. Um, and we need to fundraise for that. Uh, I've come back on late. Normally, we'd be fundraising all year, wouldn't we? But with the break and everything, we have to double our efforts. Where is this guy? I had him. Dutty Derek Morgan. Hmm. I thought I uploaded a picture of him. Queen Ifrika's abuser. This nasty man. Uh, I don't know what's going on with that. What, what I do know is that we stand in full support with Queen Ifrika. I'm trying to get an interview with her at the moment. It's kind of looking like it might happen. So you may well see her on here if she graces us um, with her presence. You know, little old us. We would be honoured to have that sister on and give us some words of encouragement. So, yes, my brothers and sisters, Dylan, your time's up. Everybody knows that you now, that you are a liar, a cheat and a charlatan, that you're an abuser, that you erode your community, that you abuse your children and you are not an activist in the community that is better in black people. You are definitely not that. Blessed love, people. I'm going to see you guys next week. <laughs> Shut up, granny. I don't know who that is. Is that me? I love it. I'm a gran. I love it. <laughs> uh, I don't think that's the, that that person is aiming that at me, though. It's funny. Sometimes you come away from the comments and then you go back in and you think, oh, what's that? <laughs> People, next week, 9 p.m., right here on YouTube, Afro Speaks, Community Conversation, new topic, new focus, new perpetrator, new testimony from victims, okay? Uh, we're also going to revisit, actually, before I forget, the story of the, the pensioner in Jamaica whose children robbed her of her life savings. We're going to get the update on what's been going on with that. There's a lot been going on with that, believe me. So we're going to get the update of that as well next week. And I will see you lot there. OK, blessed love, my people. Blessed love. Blessed love. Blessed love. Enjoy the rest of the weekend. <laughs>